Uh, anywho, hi everybody. Hello. Welcome to PodQuest. This is number 23. Yep, we just went over this. I know. I forget things sometimes. We're going to call this one the poop cast because we're all sitting on toilets at a local <laughs> toilet place. That's not even almost happening. And we're all pooping together and we have our microphones in these toilet stalls. No. And we're pooping at the same time. What exactly is is a toilet place? It's, you know, like like any place he's, that has local toilets. Like he's, like no, no, he's he's saying no. we went to Home Depot and we're in their bathroom section. Oh, no. Section. That's horrible. Oh, that's, Pooping in their you, un, un, see, un... The thing un, is, you can't do that anymore because they raised the toilets up. You can they? still do it. Oh, it's kind we of just harder. Out. We can figure it out. You just have to hope the shelf holds you, which I'm sure it can because it holds toilets. Yeah, exactly. toilets are fucking heavy, you know. They're not that bad, actually. No, not not. Especially when you get the water out. Um, all right, fine. This isn't Poopcast. I lied. This is awesome. this is PodQuest. Yes. Guys, it's the best time of the year right now. Why is that? McDonald's Monopoly. Uh, no. Then it's going to be Poopcast. Yeah, I know. But actually, it's the best time of year because it's Bacon Festival that we're not going to. I know. That's disappointing. Yeah. I I posted about it like a month ago. No one said anything. Uh, because well, nobody sees when you post things. Well, Rusty commented on it. He's like, I don't get what's so great about free bacon. It's, it's Rusty. Cause, well, no, because the post was, uh, uh, share this post and you may win free bacon. And it was to win two tickets to the Bacon Festival. And it said Bacon Festival on it. And I was right. like, he didn't read it. He just saw share the post and win free bacon. I'm like, Rusty. It says share win tickets to the bacon festival and you get to eat bacon the whole time. Well, Rusty's a jerk. He is a jerk. No, he's kind of a nice guy. He's going to save the environment and shit. Yeah, yeah fuck the and, environment. and shit. I and guess. shit. Um, now he's he's just he's gotten real hippy dippy about a lot of things <laughs> recently. Um, you know, without sounding mean, he's just, yeah he he lives off the land and and you know nature and things like that. So uh, when when something like that comes up and it's it just makes food and and turns it into uh like a vain sort of like oh there's food everybody eat it because it's great as opposed to food is here to help you sustain and be alive it's you know he's i'm sure he'll change his ways in like three weeks because it's, what it's he also there to make you happy when you're yeah, sad yeah, you That's know what why i, I eat food. you know what i say i say to that treat yourself you know what I say to that? You put the R on the end of your. You did it wrong. You it's say, treat yourself. I, I treat yourself. Look, Watch the show. I was up until like midnight drinking. No excuse. Oh, that's it. Treat yo- so you treated yourself to drinks. I was up yes. till like one a.m. Yes. playing games, and then I was I up went till to bed. like ten thirty. Well, I was only up until twelve drinking. Man, can you stay up later than Druten? This is crazy. <laughs> Uh uh-uh. uh, I had Druton up to eleven the other night playing Destiny. Is that how? He's is that what you got to call it now? Mm-hmm. Playing what? Destiny. Is that what? how he's like twenty four? He is twenty four. Yeah. yeah, I'm twenty one. I don't know if he got that shit while we were playing or not, but he he was actually twenty four when uh, him I him Vogel and myself played the other day. Oh, after you logged off the yeah. other day, yeah, I got like one of the items I got was a blue helmet. Yeah. And then I got nothing but blue helmets after that. Nice. It so it pisses me off. So that oh, that's right. Vogel Vog was telling me that. Yeah, no, it's because I wasn't getting blue helmet drops. His helmet was green it still. Was green. Everything else was blue. So uncommon. And, and then rare. I got a blue helmet drop as a reward for completing the weekly or something. Every drop after that was blue helmets. Nice. All right. Well, so for real, it is really the best time of the year. Uh, partially because it's autumn. Yes. Which autumn. is great. Partially because Halloween's coming up. Halloween. Which is fantastic. But realistically, it's because it's video game time, bitches. Uh, uh, just, there's just a constant stream of shit from yeah. until Christmas. I desperately want to play Shadow of Mordor. Oh, my God. I even want to play Shadow of it Mordor. It looks so fucking good. And fuck Lord of the Rings. It's not even called know, Lord of the Rings. I that's why I want to play it. It's <laughs> just Middle Earth, Shadow of Mordor. Well, well, it looks Middle Earth. Awesome. <clears throat> it, it's, it's getting fantastic no, it, it reviews. Does look, it looks really good. It's all I've listened to this week are random podcasts and watch videos of people playing it and... <laughs> Like Giant Bomb and Polygon and everybody, they're just like, this game is fucking awesome, get it. And I, I it's all on the top of my Christmas list because I definitely wanted it, but I didn't want to buy it. Cause especially because Dragon Age is coming and out now you're in like, two months. Maybe I do want to buy it. Well, considering I'm at the point in Destiny where all I want to do is do the weekly, like get my marks and then I'm done. Yeah. I don't really care, so I kind of need something else to play. Because uh, Hyrule Warriors can only sustain me for so long. I, you know. Yeah, like that. Any Destiny Warriors game is like that. Yeah, like Hyrule Warriors is so good though. Just just because it has the Zelda characters doesn't change that it's one of those like no. play for a few hours here and there, but yeah. not necessarily play you all get, like, day. Two missions done, and then I'm like, all right, I'm bored. <laughs> Time to do something else. Uh, anyway, 
Yeah, so there's Hyrule Warriors. Uh, Forza Horizon 2 just came out, too. I don't know if you're going to get that at all, Walnut. Um, That's the uh, free... No. Thing. No, that's... What is... That's, that's Drive, Drive Club. Club. That comes out on Tuesday, actually. Yeah. Cobb, make sure you get it. It's free. Yeah, I know it's free. So it'll be cool. Because then we... But, it's 11 cars and 10 tracks. This isn't what I mean by what, by what I say when I watch people play. I watch, like, like the game I, reviewer I, people. I know. I was just putting it on for background It's fine, I guess. Stuff. It's not background stuff. I'm going to stare at it the whole time because well, it's so pretty. Stop staring at it. I can't help it. Anyway, um, what was I saying? Forza Horizon. Forza Horizon. Yeah, it's supposed to be good, but Drive Club comes out on Tuesday. And it's free to play. Free to play. It's 11, I think it's 11 cars and 10 tracks for free as long as you have PS Plus. Otherwise, it costs money. And if you pay money, there's like 60 cars and 50 tracks or something. Yeah. So it's, it's a really, really sweet deal, and it looks so friggin' pretty. Um, before Forza Horizon is supposed to be pretty cool yeah, I, for that's, people that have is, Xbox. Is Forza like it, Forza Horizon is more their like open world? So, yeah, open world one. Which I mean, like Forza Paradise and Forza is awesome. It's beautiful. Yeah, but it still has a drive tar. The what? The drive tar. Oh yeah. Which makes it freaking hard. As what hell. was that? Because I really what, yeah. What is a drive tar? The drive tar is you will go into your game and you will race like three or four races. And then it'll learn about how you race, and then it'll send you to your friends and other people's races and race under that profile. So it's like the Dark Souls Shadow Runner thing. Uh, I guess I never played Dark Souls. Oh, Neither did I. Man, but I, you need to play Dark Souls. Like that. But, that was. The, all right, was we're all getting Bloodborne in February. So, I kind of wanted that anyway. It looks so good. I, the only reason I didn't play Dark Souls one is because by the time I actually was interested in it, yeah, it was in that like going away phase yeah like, that's when we started hearing that like servers were shutting down I'm like well i don't want to start with number two i'm the same way yeah i'd like, same with dark souls and demon souls i by the i don't want to spend 60 dollars on a game that's going to make me throw my controller at my tv because uh, i will do that and i really don't want to i can't yeah. afford a new tv or a new controller these are expensive controllers. controller i can get the tv whatever no even the controller uh, I'm, a, I'm a little i know I really want the Wii U con- Pro controller, but it's 50 bucks. I can't. But anyway, 50? what's drive a So anyway, it's after it makes your driver profile, it'll then send you into other people's races and things your like that. Your profile into other... Not you yourself? Not you yourself. It's your okay. profile. So you, there is no actual two-player racing or oh. multiplayer racing in any of these games. There is in this one. Is there? Yeah. All right. So it, I think. It's a little different, but the drive a is still in it. Because so, the cool thing is if your drive a gets in second place, you get a reward and it'll tell you... Oh. Your driver car-, car got you this many credits. That's cool. So it's pretty cool, but everyone drives like an asshole. Yeah. Like, I so... Like, everyone's freaking bad hard. at it, or everyone's just no, it's, way better everyone, at it? Everyone is combating everybody else being a dick. So I have to be a dick and knock people off the road, because they're going to knock me off the road if I try to pass them. It's, it's basically, they don't drive like they're driving a car. They drive yeah. like they're driving a bumper car. Yeah. And that's that's been the issue with, with video game racing games for a long time, is when you play online against people, they're not going to race like they should be racing. They're yeah. going to race like what's going to make be- them win. Because it, I do the same thing, because I'm not good enough to win normally. I mean, yeah, that's, I'd, that's like, when you, you get behind them, and you start bumping them, and then yeah. you well, hit... You hit the one side and make them spin out. Yep. Bumping them is fine. It's yeah, it's hitting the one side, which is the asshole thing. Like this is all not how the game's actually gonna run. Unless this is like how this is like eight players. No, this is uh yeah, maybe. But this yeah, is usually I'm confused because those are people's names. This is usually what you'll see is you'll see people's names on top of their cars and then you're going and Bless if you go you. to pass somebody, they're gonna come right into you and stuff. Huh. That's yeah, cool see. that that's on a residential road like that. Yeah, it's it's literally it's full open world. It takes place in Italy, I believe. It looks like it. Yeah. Uh, the whole yeah. Thing in like one area. Yeah, yeah. It's not like all of Italy. It's like this chunk of Italy, but like not the bottom part where it's like the boot. It's the top part off to the left, so it's just like land by some water. So um, it's, it's all like street race. It's Italy street racing. Yeah, it's just like the like Burnout Paradise and Need for Speed. Uh, most wanted and shit like that, where it's just oh, open world. driving on the wrong side. Yeah, yeah that's confusing. <laughs> I didn't even realize that. Um, I couldn't play this game in first person. But it, well, you can also get American really cars. Dude, that is, uh, it's amazing you get, you how far games like this shit. have come, though. Like with the the first person, like you can see your speedometer and everything yeah. actually moving. Your fucking um, you can you your can mirrors look around. And stuff works. You can look around. No, yeah. I, I know. I'm just saying, like you can. You can see into the rear view and the side view mirror right now. You can see your speedometer, your RPMs, and everything moving. Yeah, they actually the, 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 the Connect has a thing where it, it sees your face, and if you turn your head, it's going to turn your head in game too, which is cool. 
Um, yeah, I mean, it looks neat, but yeah, I'm not probably, I don't have an Xbox, so I'm not going to get it, and Drive Club comes out, so that's my racing game for ever. I'll think about getting it. I don't, I need to get something else for my Xbox One. I haven't really played that in a while. Yet, um, let's see, is Forza Sunset Overdrive. Get that. Oh, yeah, I do need to get Please that. Please get and, Sunset and Overdrive. And the, um, the Halo nah, fuck collection. fuck that thing. Don't give them money for that. I'm tired of HD collections. I don't want people to make them anymore. I just want to be able to play all the Halos on the uh, on the new. Yeah, you know what? I, I will. I will at least say, at least system. when it comes to like the Master Chief one, they're putting a lot they, of work into it. Th- yeah, th- they're actually adding to it, so it's yeah. not just here's a disc with these three old games on it. Yeah, it's here's a disc with these three old games, a bunch of multiplayer maps upgraded, and this connecting story that kind of wraps it all together yeah. to give you a reason to actually play it and lead yeah. into the new one. Like it's it's definitely a lot better than most other HD collections. It's still just. I'm tired of them. I, I yeah, want, I, I want oh, something no. new, I, finally. It's just, it's just, I agree. Ugh. But I, I want it still anyway. Just be, I, I, I do want to just replay through all four Halos, and it'd be nice just to play through them on my Xbox One. All right, we'll do that, and then when you're done, give it to me so I can play through them. All right, I guess. Or you can just come over and play them. And we that means I have to come over. I'd still have to get another Xbox One controller. Though. All right, well then, you do that. have one. Yeah, buy a well, second no, Xbox when, controller. When I went to go buy the Xbox or pre-order the Xbox One, they weren't doing pre-orders for peripherals. It was oh, just right. the Xbox yeah. One. So it was the Xbox One and games. And but when I went to pre-order my PlayStation Four, it was peripherals as well. So That's I because yeah. Sony did it right. Yeah, yeah. They did. So I pre-ordered the uh, controller, and then I got the controller two weeks early. Yeah. The controller and Killzone uh, 4 or whatever, uh, whatever it was. Uh, I don't know. I, I got that house. two weeks before the game, the system <laughs> even came out because that's just what they were doing. They were yeah. like, we want to lessen the um, the traffic coming in when this stuff comes in. So True that. Uh, so also with it being fall, that means Black Friday and all of the big game sales yes. are coming up. Anything you guys are looking forward to All of the big sales up? in general. I know. I love them. Yeah. Is there any specific games you're looking forward to picking up? Wait. Uh. <laughs> That that you haven't gotten already that that might be on sale. Oh, you're asking us? If yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, I mean, there's a lot of stuff coming out like yeah. this holiday that I'm interested in. It's really that not I'm hoping, that much for me. That I'm hoping comes out, or that I know it comes out, but that I I'm hoping has a sale on Black Friday. Yeah. Kind of like last year, um, Arkham Origin, even though it was pretty much brand new. Yeah. Had a good Black Friday deal, so I picked that up. That's where I'm torn with the Assassin's Creed yeah. coming out. I want them both, but I only want one because I'm only going to play one until like beat it then i'll play the other but yeah, I, I, that's what i might get like if assassin's creed has a good sale i'll pick that up yeah um that'd be nice if they like combine that into a bundle by the two for the same price as one they're or not going well here's the pisses me off is we all know that rogue is just going to come to next gen consoles mid next year yeah and i'm just going to waste my money buying it now you know so i don't it's stupid it's annoying uh i'm i'm, I'm hoping Lightning Returns goes on sale. Yeah, that would actually be cool. Because that was something I did want to try, but I didn't want to spend... It's still 40 right now. Yeah. Which no. is nuts for a Squeenix game. They're never 40. Uh, which is driving me nuts. But yeah. Otherwise, from this year, there's not a whole lot that I, I want to buy that I didn't buy yet. What is this guy doing? He's uh, driving he's in circles. He's probably going to the garage or something to repair that's, his car. That's goofy. I feel like there are other things that I want. Yeah. I mean, like, like I would love to get Hyrule Warriors, but... Oh, just buy it. It's that's so not, fun. The just thing is, it. like... Well, like Eric was just saying with with Dynasty, like yeah. that, that type of game, it's like play here and then you're done for a little while. Yeah, if I would I would end up playing less than that because Dynasty Warrior games just aren't that much fun for me. They're not that much fun for anybody, but they're so much fun. But for <laughs> for sixty <laughs> it's bucks, really it's just it. yeah. If it's on sale Black Friday, definitely pick it up along with something else so you can jump between the two. Yeah, that's a really good way to do it. That's what I, I'm doing. My weeklies in Destiny. Then I'm playing. Hyrule Warriors. The problem is, it's, it's a it's a new Nintendo game, so the odds of them having a sale on Black Friday are know, slim. Yeah. Uh, well, considering that they're still supposed to have uh, Smash Bros. 3DS on Wii U by this holiday, so, you know, you never know. Wait, wait, can Smash you say that again? Bros. What? Super Smash Brothers on Wii U. Not you Super said Smash, Smash Brothers 3DS, 3DS on Wii U. Oh, you know what I meant. <laughs> you know what I meant. But yeah, Smash Bros. 3DS on Wii U. Anyway. Yeah, it's supposed to. It's still scheduled for holiday. So if they want to push that, they're probably going to put other shit on sale or buy the two together, get some discount because nobody's going to buy it otherwise. Anyway, what did you guys do this week? N- nothing. Like you didn't play anything. Well, it's Final Fantasy and, and Destiny. Great. And I went and saw Equalizer. Oh. If you're interested in that, yeah. It's pretty pretty good movie. If you take now, my buddy got in an argument with me about this, but if you take Taken. And Home Alone, and combine them together, you got you got uh, 
Equalizer. Why? Why was Denzel Washington? Those two things just alone? don't seem to go together, though. Because like he he sets up like because people person uh, something goes on with person and he sets up a. Uh, like uh, booby traps to be able to stop him and stab him and kill him and stuff like that. It's really cool what he does. Right. So it's like just at one point he he's the like Christmas ornaments under the window when the people came in. Well, he he put down like dirt on the floor to hear a person stepping down and set up a booby trap for him. And like just seeing this whole the whole him setting up a booby trap for somebody, it was like for some reason I just think Home Alone when I see that part. Interesting. So, but it was a really good movie. Uh, I, I liked it a lot. It was just maybe a half hour too long. Weird. Yeah. Weird. Other than that, it was Final Fantasy to get two levels on my subclass and Destiny to get what I thought I got a purple item, a purple weapon, which I didn't, I guess. Yeah. So yeah, that's With it. The new updates. It's hi- highly likely you'll get something worthwhile. I don't think so. No, trust me. It's. I'll tell you. Uh, Kyle, what'd you do? Worked too much. That doesn't I didn't have count. time for games. So you didn't play any games? Nope. You're I didn't even have time for comics. You're the worst person ever. Me neither. I, I'm all the behind this week. <laughs> you're telling me. I'm behind on comics. Yeah, that's true. I, I've got like a month and a half worth of books. Ugh, I have so many more. I am, I am at that point where um, I, I'm still hooked on Destiny, but not to the point where I need to play 17 hours a day. So I'll just be, like I've said, I'm just going to be getting my weekly stuff in and then maybe some Hyrule Warriors and then comic book time. It's about damn time. Until Dragon Age comes out in November, at which point, so you, fuck everything. So you have this month to uh, catch up on your books? Uh, well, because I think it's mid-November for Dragon Age, so i got like a month and a half, roughly. What well, shouldn't Should take long cool. for comics? No, uh, no, I mean, really. You have a lot of comics, but it, uh, each comic it only takes you, what, like, five minutes to read, so... I'm not Vogel. I actually savor the moment. It takes me about 45 minutes per book. Really? Jesus, really? No. <laughs> I was going to say, do you not know how to say, read? Like, <laughs> yeah, anywhere from, like, 10 to 15 it based takes on the me, book. Yeah, I was about to say, if it takes you 45 minutes, it takes... Because <laughs> it takes me 20 minutes to read a book. Right. And it's just a normal, like, a normal yeah. issue of... Of uh, Walking Dead, it takes me about twenty minutes to read it. Yeah, so. I, can, I, I burn through Walking Dead so fast. They're they're probably a five to six minute book because the artwork's never that interesting to me. Like it's good. Charlie Adelard is awesome, but it's not like oh my god, look at how bloody this shit looks because it's all black and white. Yeah, you can only get so much detail out of it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, so I I burn through those. I, I went through the entire series in like two weeks. I haven't I haven't read like the newest one. I don't think I haven't read since the guy said that the walkers were talking. Yeah, that's and I, I just I just stu- I was just so spoilers, ugh. guys. Dude, it was so you're dumb. not reading it. It was so dumb. I do every once in a while. <laughs> every once in a while. Like, yeah. Well, like, yes, I'll, I'll get into like I'll get into like a groove where I'll read like a trade or two. Yeah. Or actually, I, there was one point where I I think I read like four trades pretty much back to back. Where, mm-hmm. um, which was just a lot of reading that day because. Yeah. I think I I think when I when I added it up that just in one night I read like six hundred pages of Walking Dead. That's a lot of pages. Um, yeah, it's it's good. It is definitely good. It's just it, it was right around a good point too because it was the whole governor thing was going down. Yeah. And, then, and, and then like the fallout after that. That shit is great. So it was books. really easy to just keep reading it. So the first compendium. The, yeah. Yeah. I, I just yeah. get the I don't get the compendium, so I just I get the trades. I but have isn't them the all first compendium up to issue one hundred. The first compendium ends right after the fall of the prison. And they have to leave the prison. Oh yeah, yeah I'm past that. When I'm, I got up to where they um they find that little community that's oh, Alexandria. Yeah, well, the community. And, they, they I don't think they ever actually called it Alexandria they, in they, the books. They did not. Probably not where you're at. Not but, well. No, not where he's at. Or not know. where he's at. But they do eventually, or at some point, call it Alexandria. Yeah. Yeah. It takes a while. Yeah, because I don't remember them giving it a name, but like like the, the old guy made Rick the sheriff. And, yeah. Uh, made uh abraham and anyone else that was even slightly physically um capable construction like, crew yeah. yeah yeah no it's yeah. i really like when the book hit that area because it's when because uh, it, it's it's the very beginning of the series was so fast his first 12 issues which is like what yeah. the fuck is going on yeah and i didn't like it at all then when it hit the prison it took its stride and took its time for the next like 50 issues and then shit went nuts again for like another 10 12 issues and then it slows down again in alexandria and it's it's anyway, nice it doesn't those... slow down that much there no. like there's still a lot of stuff happening yes. like oh yeah rick's obviously at that point where he's already kind of lost his mind oh yeah and stuff i like that he carries the phone around with yeah. him yeah <laughs> who does he have the did, did you get to the point when michonne walt sees him yeah 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 <laughs> i love that part 
Yeah. And like she's the only person that kind of like I won't tell if you won't. <laughs> well, so good. Did, uh, did you see um, Andrea talking to Dale's hat? No, no, maybe there was. There, I don't remember I, that. I think it only happened once, if I don't, at I, all. You know, Dale's only been dead for a little while, so I've just probably haven't gotten to that point yeah, yet. Maybe she she talks to the hat at one point, dude. But like, I hope that in this coming season, because th- they pretty much set up for for that group to be cannibals. Yeah, yeah, that's what I've heard. I really, really hope that what happened in the book with the cannibals, yeah, something similar happens. Oh, where they in the fuck show. them up and shit. I, I was, Rick just dismembers the fuck out of them. Yep. I was I'm hoping. I was hoping that <clears throat> Herschel is still going to be. Uh, spoiler alert! I was hoping Herschel is still going to be alive at this point. Yeah. To where he could play Dale's part. Because oh, that actually, is the that is by far my favorite scene of all I've the books been so bitten, far. You sons of bitches! <laughs> I'm tainted me, tainted me. Like so good. Just seeing, like I would love to see that scene see, in that scene show. was great. But I liked when Rick confronted them. Yeah, and basically, yeah, just murdered yeah. them all. Uh, and you had yeah. uh, the priest. He was just like sitting in shock, like, "Oh my god, what did I get myself into?" Yeah, I like his character though, and he's confirmed for this. Well, season, yeah, because he's which is cool. He, I'm assuming he. Uh, well, you didn't watch it, so yeah, I didn't watch it. So, uh, I'm hopefully soon. It starts up in a week. I know. Well, I'm able to keep Audra caught up on like uh, Gotham and and Shield, which is nice. Yeah, so and, and really Once good. Upon a Time, we are can you keep still up in on those? But, or are you done? Uh, I have. I'm done at the end of October, like the 23rd. Did is you my should last get day. pushed back or something? Because I yeah. feel like you should have been done a while ago. I should have been done a month and a half ago, but the this class got pushed back by a month and a half because um, his other class before us got pushed back because of snow and shit. So his other MCSA class before this one uh, had to stay late. So in turn, it pushed us back, and then before he started us, he took a week vacation. So. Can't blame him for that. No, it's I totally get it. But yeah, so as a result, our class mine right now doesn't end until the end of October. I can't wait. And then you'll have, have all your anymore. all your certs. For no, your then I'll have brains enough to study to get certs. Good luck. Okay. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, MCSA is on the back. I don't really care much about that one. I want the Cisco shit though. I, I, the Cisco one's probably a lot easier than the Microsoft one. I prefer which, networking. Which. which pains me to say that the networking one's easier yeah but microsoft's tests are basically set up so that you can't pass them yep so you have to take them multiple times yep this one guy that i work with uh or that i go to school with he worked at revel before it closed and uh he used his last month of work quote air quotes because he wasn't doing anything to study for the first test of mcsa he passed it by getting the exact score you need to pass it Hmm. i've taken the the exchange exam yeah um now, I don't even have the MCSA yet, which no. are the first three tests. Yeah. My office is put needs people to pass the second two for the MCSE, yeah. which you have like a plethora of stuff. But they need people to pass the exchange one in particular. Right. I've taken it four times now. Yeah. I have not come within 300 points of passing. Ugh. A lot of PowerShell? A lot of PowerShell. A lot of sucks. A lot of bullshit. Because they basically have it set up for scenarios where 99% of people will never enter those scenarios. It's, you know, you work in this huge organization with thousands of people and multiple sites, and this one particular problem occurs. Right. What do you do? You call fucking Microsoft and you have them help you because that's what any fucking system administrator would do when that happened in an organization that fucking big. Right. No one's going to be like, I'm going to run this fucking PowerShell script no. and do this and Seriously. run this diagnostic. No, you're going to call somebody for fucking help. Yep. No, and that's not, an, hate, that's not an answer, though. No, I really hate PowerShell shit. The worst part is, in all of my books, we're now on our third set of books because of the third test for MCSA. I haven't seen any like bit of PowerShell in these three books at all. It doesn't teach you any PowerShell. That's like, you have to figure it out on your own. And Fuck that shit. And I promise you, all the test questions want you to answer with PowerShell. Yeah, I know. Because even if they give you the GUI option... Yep. They went at PowerShell, and, and half of it, especially for the, the first MCSA one, which is the only one I actually attempted so far, Yeah, they're basing it on a server core installation. Yeah, that Which sucks. is strictly command line and PowerShell. You don't have a GUI at all. No. So you have to know how to install, configure, set up all that shit, Windows Server 2012 from command line. Yeah, that's, that's my ass. That's my ass. And then I think right this... There. I don't think that one includes Active Directory. I think the second one is Active Directory. Right. But you're going to have to know how to configure and install Active Directory from command line. And setting, Doing the basic install stuff is easy. It's just they always give you the, the scenario stuff. Yeah. 
where you know you have to set up Active Directory to sync with this domain as a trust, but do this other stupid bullshit too. Right. So rather than just having the you know get feature install AD services or whatever the fuck it is, right. It's a sh- you know a ninety seven character long string with like random dash R's and lowercase L's and backslashes and shit to signify like where things have to go and whether you want it like recursive or nope I don't like it yeah don't fuck tell that. me anymore because I'm mad about that's it. where I keep failing it because they give you three options that are almost identical yeah other than like one letter here <clears throat> and there right so if you don't know like this huge string by heart verbatim y- you're taking a wild fucking guess Mm-mm. yeah we did uh, there was one challenge in our book where it's like create a user in Active Directory in this uh, specific OU um, with PowerShell only. It took me a week of researching the internet to figure out what specifically to do to type in PowerShell to make this work. I have it saved. I've seen that. Because I will never know how to do well, that. And that's, it was the most ridiculous bullshit Theoretically, ever. That's, re- that's what any good admin's going to do. They're going to take those those um, PowerShell commandlets, <clears throat> yeah. and the common ones, they're going to save them as scripts yeah. and just run the script well that's the worst part is when you look up like how do i do this with powershell they just give you their script and it's like i don't want your script i just want the powershell information this way i because that's what the fucking test is going to ask me and really specifically what do you type in powershell it's terrible to say this and i'm not saying this against you yeah setting up a user in active directory in a certain ou yeah is probably one of the easiest things you can do in powershell yeah so the fact that it took you a week to figure it out shows yeah. you how bad it gets from there it's just it's just how bad the documentation on powershell is overall it's there's no one specific location on like microsoft's TechNet bullshit that has any of it there's not in any of these books that i've bought it's ridiculous i have to buy extra resources to learn powershell yep it's it's not cool that's why I'm kind of avoiding that one for now. The Cisco stuff, I really liked it, and I'd rather be in networking anyway. And you know what? It I want to be way... as far away from people as possible. <laughs> the problem is, you know, in networking, you still have to deal with people. To an extent. Uh, you know, but being a systems admin, that means you're sitting there making all of their accounts and all that bullshit. And you know what? That's my, passwords fa- that's and... my favorite thing to do. I had to, make, I had to set up an exchange account and an AD account for a user, and yeah. then I had to get it synced up on the remote server. Right. That was awesome. That was a half hour that I got to just fucking... Yeah. You have to talk to people. I just had to make the account, set up, set them up in all the right groups. You know, when they send you the right info and then they're not stupid and then they can, and they're able to figure out how to log in and I just can't stand it. And that's the best point. Like I didn't have to send it to the person. I had to send it to like the, the point of contact. Yeah, I know. So it's just like, here's this temporary password. It'll ask him for a new one when he logs on. Half the time the, the, the contact is an idiot. No, luckily at least this one isn't. Yeah. We have a couple that are really, really cool. Uh, but some of them are just like, God damn it, I hope you die. Anyway, uh, what did I do this weekend? This no week? one cares. Thanks for asking, guys. I played Destiny, and I played Hyrule Warriors, and I played uh, that Star Wars game I was telling you guys about last week, and that's about it. I'll spare you the details. You didn't read comics, you son of a bitch. No. Oh, I did hit level 28 in Destiny before Vogel. Fuck Vogel. Man, that guy plays a lot of Destiny, too. He really does. Like, he is on whenever I'm not on, and then when I log on, he's on still. And he logs off maybe 20 minutes before I log off. He, w- he plays so much, and I hit 28 before you know him, so it, suck you it. You know what's impressive? That he plays as much as he does with how much he works. Cause he's, does he work that much? I know he works on, like, Saturdays. And... He works Saturday and Sunday, he works at Friendly's in the morning. Oh, okay. Monday, I think it's Monday, Wednesday, Friday, he has school in the morning. Yeah. Monday, and then he works Wednesday, after Wednesday, he works after school at the school. Yeah. And then Tuesday, Thursday, he just works. It's not too much, though. It's a lot. Yeah, but, it's then, not too, I'm not but, the, it's, but then when he comes home and his wife is out working, he's playing games the whole time. That's and true. And the whole time I'm on Destiny with him, and he's going, Aiden, be quiet. Aiden, stop <laughs> it. And Andy, Andy. Go to bed. And, yeah, go to bed. This, this is my favorite one. Because I don't usually log on until it's their bedtime anyway. And he's like, go to bed. And I'm like, you've been on for three hours. You've probably been saying this the whole time. Go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, you know, it's, what, it's, it's fine. No, I, I, and yeah. I wasn't saying he, it was too much work. I'm just saying yeah. the fact that he, fu- that he has that yes. much time that he's on there. He's on all the time. Half the time I log on, I'm like, hey, did you do the daily yet? He's like, yeah, I did the daily and I did all my uh my bounties for the day and i did all this and i'm like well, what the fuck are you still on for you have nothing left to do multiplayer uh, i don't care much so you should start picking up like, did you do bad. the dishes just... did you take the trash out did you vacuum nine times out of ten he has to do that in the middle of us playing oh, really he's like yeah i gotta go do some dishes 
And I'm like, all right, well, you go do that. I'm going to go kill things. Yeah, so, like, all right, I'm just going to sit here and get the, uh... What? They have a dishwasher. So do I. I don't you use do. mine either. Yeah, I, I, know, I think they do actually use it, theirs, though. Well, you know, you got to you got to rinse them off. We started using our dishwasher just because we stopped feeling like doing dishes all day. So we just we just kind of wait from the morning till night until there's enough dishes to warrant a full dishwasher load. Uh, stop! Just I, stop using dishes. Yeah, I'm I'm about to. I hate doing dishes. It's so usually much. like the stupid shit that you can't avoid, like the pots and pans and stuff when you make dinner. We don't make that much dinner. We don't <laughs> make as much either. I wish we did because I'm getting tired of eating out, but we don't make. I really much like dinner. eating out, but I like saving the money from yes cooking at home. I, yeah, I really I like hate cooking. cooking. I really like cooking, but my mom cooks for me too often for me to be able to cook all the time. Just tell her you don't want to come over. You're more you're allowed to do that. But it's free food. But it makes me look bad because it's I don't go over. It's free food. <laughs> Does she invite you over every day? No, because we, we told her that we couldn't come over all the time because Aldra has schoolwork to do. Well, Didn't you tell her that like last year too? We told her that years ago, and, and she finally called on that that really means we don't want to come over that much because my dad was like, Carolyn... Do you remember when your mom and dad would invite us over for dinner every day and we didn't want to do it anymore? And my mom's like, yeah. And he's like, and we told her that it's we just put too much going on and we have to clean the house. And we started making a bunch of things up too. And my mom's like, yeah. He's like, do you not see what they're doing yet? She's like, no, Audrey just has a lot of homework. That's all. <laughs> like, your poor mother. <laughs> I know. She's she's a special lady. Special lady. Um, yeah. Yeah. So that's about my gaming this week. Yeah. You're gaming this week, that gaming. I do really wish I was playing Shadow of Mordor, because it looks beautiful. Did you see the cape physics? Yeah, no. yeah, in the video. Pull up, pull, no, pull up Giant Bomb's version. Uh, Giant Bomb quick look for Shadow of Mordor, because he uses the alternate costume that comes with the game. Because um, the standard one's like that really cloth, like furry looking cape. Yeah. The other one is like a really, it's longer and more flowy, and it's fucking disgusting looking how well that cape Have moves. you seen the people complaining about like the... Uh the canon of yeah. it. Yeah. Like, I've seen well, a few. Well, no one no one comes back to, to life in Middle-earth except for this one particular person. Ugh. And because of when this is supposed to happen, these three things couldn't have happened. Yeah. It's like, stop being such nerds and just enjoy the game. Yeah, that's the one guy uh, on, on Giant Bomb, uh, this guy Brad, he's a huge Tolkien nerd, and he said that... Uh, He's like he during the quick look. He's like they took some liberties with the lore because some of this stuff would never happen in the Tolkien universe. But I'm willing to let it go because this game is so fucking good. Who gives a shit? Oh, he didn't actually say it on the podcast, did he? No, no, that was during the quick look. Um, because uh, I, I listened to their video I li- shit. I listened to their. <laughs> I think yeah. I listened to the one from this week when they talked about it a little bit. Yeah, they they told it was like the first thing they opened with. Instead of what did you do this week, it was how was Shadow of Mordor? Oh my god, it was great for like fifteen twenty minutes. They're just I think like, they it's tangent so good. more than we do. What I think they tangent more than we do. They tangent a lot, and we do too, and that's fine because it's fun. This thing's uh, an hour long. Come on, yeah, this is what I watch at work all day. Is their shit? But look, look at that fucking cape. Do you know what what he's playing on? Uh, probably PS3 is my guess. Or PS4 rather, because I know yeah, PS4. Yeah, they do a lot of their shit on PS4 because it's what they what gets sent it's, to them, and it's it's probably easier to stream it too because uh, well, or to they, record it because PS4 comes with all the well yes, but they they have they have all the professional shit where they plug it into things. And, oh, I thought and they capture. I, I hear them talk about Twitch and everything a lot, so I just assumed they were using Twitch. Uh, no, so aren't they like associated with Gamespot? Uh, Game Gamespot bought them. Which is funny because they were made up of ex GameSpot employees, so it's kind of like that whole CBS Interactive bought them. Man, when are they going to buy GameSpot? Us? Uh, hopefully someday, because I would love to work for these people. They're so cool. That's, that's, uh, but yeah, this cape tell is them ridiculous. That we talk about let's tell Giant Bomb that we talk about them all the time. I'll just I'll boom. tweet them. We'll tweet them. They're cool guys. Let's just start emailing them. But uh, this, like, we bring you up on our podcast all the time. Yeah, yeah you, you should bring talk us about up. us. Uh, yeah, no, they're really cool. And this is right now Brad's playing and Dan Reichert's in there. Dan Reichert used to work for Game Informer. Uh, now he's with GameSpot, or Giant Bomb, rather. But he shows up on a lot of GameSpot's videos, and a lot of GameSpot people show up on uh, Giant Bomb shit because they're in the same office Yeah, because they, they've had a couple people when, like, there's somebody not on the podcast. Yeah, Danny O'Dwyer's my favorite. He's from GameSpot. Is, is he the, the Irish, Irish guy, guy they had yeah. on? He was funny. He's fucking awesome. I dude. loved his story of what, last week. He got hit by a car. <laughs> yes. What? <laughs> he got, what did he say? He got run over? <laughs> yeah, and they're like, wait, what? <laughs> he got run over? He's like, yeah, I was, I was walking down the street. This car just hit me, and it, it totally ran me over. Like, like, did you roll off the hood, or did it go over you? And he's like, oh, like it like hit me, and I, I, I landed on the hood and fell off. They're like, okay, in America... That's you got hit by a car. He's like, oh, 
I didn't know that. <laughs> He's like, in Ireland, it's, I got run over. <laughs> He's so funny, dude. dude. I love that guy. Um, all of his videos are great. He has a bunch on um, on YouTube where it's him. I think it's like 11 straight videos of like 45 minutes each of him playing this game, Hatoful Boyfriend. Yeah, it sounds really lame, and it is. It's you play as a girl. It's one of them like anime oh, dating like sims. like a dating sim sort of yeah. thing. But so you play as a girl. And you're going, you're at a school and all of the students are birds. And yes, they're like different species of birds. And, but you're a human in this bird school and you have to pick a bird to date. And it's, he plays it and he does his own voice acting for it. And he gives each of the birds a different voice. And it's so stupid. He's a cool guy. I like him a lot. Um, I want to be his friend someday. He sounds like a cool, a cool person. IGN's going to be at New York Comic Con, by the way. I saw somebody else was supposed to be there too. I know. Drop I know. off our cards. What? Yeah, I know. Uh, cards, let's do that. Greg to Miller's going to be there. I think Colin Moriarty's going to be there. So that's pretty cool. Um, no, but like, like I, I saw like another site said they had people going. Probably Polygon because they're in New York. Polygon and Kotaku are both in New York. Yeah, I think it might have been um, Kotaku. No, cause I, don't, I don't read Kotaku. It might have been Polygon. I don't either. Polygon, I check Maybe every Maybe Resources. I feel like I, I saw they were going to be there. They'll probably be there. It just makes I sense. I think Nerdist said they were going to be there. Uh, yeah, Hardwick's doing a lot of panels. He always does a lot of panels. Yeah, he's modding a lot of he shit. Just, so. He just he hosts everything. That's that. Yeah, that's his Seriously, thing. you walk into a panel, if it's not Hardwick, go next door. He's going to be there. Uh, that's so what that's he's gonna famous be cool. for. He's famous for being a host. Yeah, I know. So that's going to be kind of cool. There's a good chance we'll run into those people. Um I know IGN's got like six or seven panels. Their schedule's up online, so if you want to meet any of them, we can just head to their shit. Uh, Giant to... Bomb is not going to be there. I don't think GameSpot's going to be there. I don't know. We'll see. We have to get those shirts made still. <laughs> yeah, it's probably not going to happen. Not by... <laughs> well, I, I bought the the thing, so yeah. we just ha- we literally just have to like submit it. Yeah, but we won't get them by... No, we probably won't have them by next weekend. No. But we can at least, at least by the 25th Geek for GeekFest. That's the 25th. Because I, I think I got... When I figured out how much <clears throat> money it all costs... Yeah. We can get, I think, seven T-shirts made. Okay, it's not too bad. Everybody so I figure, you know, maybe Richie can get one. Yeah, maybe the girls. Everybody gets one, maybe. Maybe not everybody. Drew Most doesn't get, get one. one. No, Just fuck that guy. No, he smells funny. We purposely scheduled this thing on a Saturday so he can make it and not have to watch football. <laughs> and what does he do? He fucking forgets and goes to get tires on a car he can't drive. What an a hole. Hey guys, I'm here. Wait, he has to go get tires. Yeah, he, him and Sarah have to go buy like tires for the car or something. Why does he have to be there? I don't know. I have no idea. <sighs> All right. Anyway. News. What's in the oh, news? Oh, wait, me? Let's do the uh, news music. Cue the news again. Do the news music. Here comes the news. Here comes the news. I didn't like it as much as last is, week. Is it all right? La- last week was pretty, was pretty like... Is, is it all right? It's all right. Good. All right, so there's news. Uh, we have a bunch of crossed off Destiny shit. You're welcome. Thanks, Christopher, for that oh. one. Oh, did I tell everybody who's here? Christopher's here. Hi, guys. Walnuts is here. Hey. And I'm Eric. Hi, Eric. It's been an hour no, and we do this and we are introing. So we're, not, we're not in an hour yet. It's fine. All right, fine. Like we haven't started minutes. news, so it's okay. All right, we just start news. So, all right, now we're starting news. Uh, so there's uh, a couple of things with Destiny we'll go over real quick. There is uh, a bug that leaks the content or potential content of future uh, uh, whatever the hell they are. Not patches, but uh, expansions, which is cool. Uh, you can see, like, generally where these missions are, but it really doesn't make that much of a difference because you're still going to start at the same exact spot you start at on Earth every time. Yeah. It's just going to take you to a slightly different path to kill things. Um, it looks like there are going to be five new strikes, two new raids, and it might have been three new strikes and two new raids, something like that, three or five, and uh, five or six missions. I noticed that the other day I was playing, I saw, like, where the missions are going to be on Earth, at least. Yeah. Like, you saw them? Yeah. You saw icons? Yeah. I'll, yeah. If I can, I'll pull it up now. I didn't right. think about... No, I, I read this earlier. I didn't yeah. think about keeping this on. That's right. Yeah, you know, there is a, it's a bug. You're not supposed to see them. Uh, the The people at Destiny came out and said that, you know, none of, it's con- none of that's confirmed. They're just placeholders. They might not start there. They might not take you there. Those might not be the names. They're still working on it. That feels like a... Yeah, it's a PR cover, but yeah, yeah it's, it's like this wasn't supposed to happen. Yeah. So no, no, none of this is real. Why? Whatever. Why would we put all this stuff in a game if that's like? Yeah, I mean, it's placeholder stuff. The content, like the missions, aren't there because uh, the the stuff's not confirmed until December. The yeah, first it's, one. So. It's all grayed out, so you can't even yeah. do anything um, with it. Let's see what else. Uh, and they they released the patch on Tuesday, which made loot 
a lot nicer uh, for completing level 24. Are you level 24 yet? No. Do level 21. 20. All right. Well, God, you're still level 21. <laughs> yeah. Just if you stick with what you're doing for now, most of your drops that are going to fall are going to be good drops. Any blue is going to be a blue, not a green anymore. So you're going to get better shit. From what I was exciting. hearing, as long as you do like the, the daily things, that you can just go basically buy everything you need to get your shit up fast. Yeah. that's As long as you're getting marks. Do you have marks? I have a couple. How many? I don't know. Go back. You have to do like your daily and weekly you cap just go, or whatever. Go to the, the, the screen. And then go to destination, and then you've only got like 15 of your weeklies, uh, 23. That's not bad. But if you stick with this one or the one above it. Cause I've been doing the 22s. 22s. Yeah. Honestly, the 20 is probably better because you're going to get through it faster. Yeah. Because it's, and it's only one mark difference. So you may as well just do the 20 instead of the 22. Because uh, I would do the 20 until you can do the 24. The 24 is where it's at because it's six marks per one. Uh, thing. What? Here's that's one. the raid. Oh, that's the raid? That's the raid. Once um, you hit 24, that'll show up for you. And that's what I saw what I thought was okay. mission. Yeah, no, if you go, uh, if this bug hits or, or you activate the bug and you go to Earth, there's a bunch of extra icons floating around and shit. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, no, I thought I saw cool. stuff. I did it. Um, yeah. Well, we're doing the news. I'm going to play. Do it. Get the, get your marks. Um, what a dick. <laughs> it's fine. It's a good idea because you, you need those. You have to play in order to get your gear, and you can buy gear with marks. Yeah. Are you Vanguard rank 2? Uh, no, I don't think so. All right. Well, when you can, figure out what Vanguard rank you are and just focus on getting your Vanguard ranks because once you're rank 2, you can buy gear. It's really easy. This is an easy mission. Uh, I thought it was the Gate Lord mission. It is the Gate Lord mission. No, it says if you want to take down the Gate Lord, so it's before. Oh, this one's even easier then. Yeah. Um... <laughs> So there's that. Uh, so yeah, the, the the loot is a lot nicer than it was before because blues are actually giving you blues, purples are giving you purples, even though the purples are giving you are usually uh, upgrade items as opposed to gear. It's still awesome because you need those upgrade items anyway, and it's better than getting a blue that's not going to give you the upgrade items you need or the crafting materials. It's probably a better way to put it. So that's kind of cool. Um, let's see. There's all kinds of rumors online that Bungie changed Destiny's story over the last year? It, I haven't really heard any uh, of those. A lot of them are on Reddit, mostly. There's like one or two on other sites, not a whole lot. Uh, but supposedly there was some guy who was part of the early playtests of Destiny about a year ago, and he said that the shit he was able to play through was very different and involved different characters known as the Wolf, like a whole different faction of people. Uh, but there is no character named the Wolf. There's just that lady who gives you the gun who's known as the Stranger. Um, you can see there's a video where Destiny or Bungie's talking about the, the Destiny app on your phone. And it shows you the missions you're going to do. And the mission description is, go do this for the Wolf. Still, there's no the Wolf in the game. So, uh, supposedly, they scrapped the story because the head of the story department, whatever the fuck it is, uh, left Bungie last year. Oh, okay. And um, they had to make changes to make things make sense because they didn't understand where it was going for him. So instead, <laughs> they scrapped everything and said, fuck it, there's no story, and we'll figure it out later. Uh, it seems kind of goofy to me, but that's what they're saying happened. Um, Bungie's comments on it are, we don't really want to focus on the past uh, we'd rather focus on how to make the game better. So we understand that you have questions, you have concerns, and you want to know where things were and why they are the way they are. But uh, realistically, let's move forward and make Destiny better before we worry about why it's not where you guys want it to be. Maybe at some point we'll release that information. Maybe we won't. Honestly, it might just be placeholders and beta shit. Yeah, I mean, if or really, alpha shit even. Not to even. me, who cares? You know, yeah. it's it's if you want Destiny to contain a story that that is significant, read the Grimoire cards. Apparently, they are super compelling, and there is so much going on with those. Can I read them on the app? No. Uh, yes. Yep. You can access them on the app or on Bungie.net. Those are the only places you can read them. They're not in the game. If they were in the game, it might they make things a little bit better. Uh, oh, there's another rumor that the guy the the Grimoire cards didn't come into place until about a year ago where they hired somebody to write them all about a year ago. Hence why there's no interface for it in the game because they didn't start working on it until a year ago. But to me, it seems like you can make that in like 12 minutes <laughs> as opposed to making a whole online thing for it instead. Nice so, uh, yeah, 
Uh, and there's a there's a Destiny Loot Cave simulator for everybody who's sad that the Loot Cave is gone. Did you guys see that thing? No. I, I saw you write about it. I didn't... It's so stupid. I didn't see anything about it. Uh, it's, it's a Unity web app uh, game. You just you bring it up, and it's literally... You can't move. It's just a gun-looking square thing in front of a cave-looking thing, and it's just dark, and you just... You, left click and it shoots in there and as it shoots in there little glowy green and purple and blue balls come popping out of it just like destiny's loot cave <laughs> it's so stupid you can't pick any of it up but they're like for everybody that thought this was fun here you go you can keep doing it <laughs> that's awful some random guy made it, it wasn't bungee but I, I just i thought that was hilarious because people were like there's no reason to ever do loot cave. I never did loot cave, and I'm more geared up than people that I know that spent all their time loot caving. So, for some reason, those people thought that was fun. So here, here's a loot cave simulator. Uh, did you guys see the Uncharted Four Nathan Drake close up? I did. No. Looks a little uh, older. Yes, he looks older. Is he disheveled? A little, little haggard. He, no, he's not disheveled. It's it's super close up. Like it's literally his face. He's just you know he, he's, he's got gorgeous. like the lines and. Mm-hmm. Like, okay. Do you remember the, see the wrinkles and crows? Do you remember the, the, shit? the old man um, tech demo thing that looked just fucking real from E3? I think two years ago. Um, uh, the wizard uh, one. Oh, are you talking about the <laughs> thing from the people who made Fable? No, no, no. no it was me in Quantic Dreams. The, it may the have been. It may have acted. I don't remember if it was now. I don't remember if it was E3 two years ago or the PS4 announcement last year. Uh, I'm thinking you're thinking the wizard thing. Yeah, the wizard. Yeah, like that just thing the was old great. man's face where yeah. it looked like it was actually somebody's face. Yes, that's the, this close up was on par with that. Yeah. Okay. When you get when you get a chance, look up Quantic Dream uh, Wizard. Quantic Dream is a team that did um, Beyond Two Souls and Heavy Rain. And okay. so their whole goal, like their whole thing is just making shit look beautiful. And so they did a tech demo and it looks fucking beautiful. And yeah. it's just this wizard and the wizard's trying to film a scene, but he keeps getting it wrong. And the imp is like, oh, come on, dude. I just, I want to get paid and get out of here. And it, it's funny as shit. It's really cool. And it's just, it's, it's all done in PS4, like with a PS4. It's really pretty. Uh, so yeah, that Nathan Drake still looks really pretty. I hate my phone keeps turning off and I can't keep the thing up. That's stupid. Uh, Shadow of Mordor gets great reviews. We talked about that already. Yes. I really want to play it. We Smash can still Bros. say it again. Shadow of Mordor looks awesome. It looks yes. really awesome. I can't wait to get it for Christmas. Hint at my wife. Hint. She doesn't listen to this. I was going to say, you're hinting at something she's never going to hear. I know. So I have to I have to tell her for realsies in person that I want that and maybe GTA Five, But GTA Five's pushing it. I don't know if I really want it. Considering I'm going to get that and Assassin's Creed, that's too much open world. Never mind, I don't want GTA Five. Um, Smash Bros is out. Anybody get it? No, no. me neither. I just Anybody I hear a lot of people it? saying that they like it more after they played a little bit, but I just I don't want to drop forty bucks on something that I didn't like the demo of. Yeah, I'm just I'd rather wait and get the Wii U version, and yeah, even exactly. then I'm not going to. So. Nothing against Smash Brothers. I like the game. It's a lot of fun with friends, but I've never been one to buy it. Oh, really? For myself. I've never yeah. bought it before. It I've always guy. purchased yeah. Smash Brothers because I, I, I have just enough fun with it on my own Yeah, that it makes it worth getting it for when there are like yeah. people to play with. That's probably what I'll do is I'll pick it up next like Sausage Fest or whatever next year. I'll probably buy it and play it for a week or two ahead of time to unlock shit. And then... you, apparently you don't have to unlock shit. Really? Yeah, it's all uh, coming that, unlocked. That makes it slightly less fun for me. Yeah, I, that's the whole like, point. Even with, uh, with the last one, with Brawl, I actually like doing like the adventure mode and everything to like unlock yeah. some of the other stuff. Didn't they and say they didn't want a story mode because they didn't want spoilers up on? There is no story mode. Yeah, there, no. there's yeah. not one of those in this one. But yeah, everything, I guess you're right. I hear, I heard everything's coming unlocked. That's disappointing because it's like yeah, the fun of it. That's is... why you get Smash Brothers. That's why I'm. I didn't get it for the Wii U or the 3DS. Yeah, and that's why I'm hesitant for the Wii U because I mean I'll get it. Just I mean it's I'm not fun, gonna play but, it if yeah. If I can't unlock things, I'm not going to play it when I don't have people over. That's how I am with Mario Kart. I love Mario Kart, but I played it to unlock about everything, and... You pl- kind of got played out of it. Yeah, I- I'm kind of... Like, I'd love to play more, but I don't like playing it by myself, and Aldra never has time, so we, we end up not playing Play shit. online. I don't like people. Are you getting the, uh... Plus, the whole point, if you play with other people, like, at home... The first night I played it, it was me, Druton, Aldra, and Sarah, and we played, like, the first four like what's it called grand prix i had so many fucking coins by the end of that i had i had like twelve thousand twelve hundred coins or whatever yeah. just by doing those with four people because we're getting 40 coins per race roughly um 
So it's a lot more fun playing with other people because then you're unlocking shit way faster. Playing by yourself is just like, ugh, I'm going to play this for hours and days. It's not that cool. <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. Um, what's next? Smash Bros. Oh, man. So Lego Batman 3 just got way cooler. Yeah, you didn't even know about all of it. I mean, I yeah, know I didn't. I just saw the one. I mean, I was interested in it because Lego Batman in space, which is cool. You're on the moon and shit. And, and the Justice League, like... Because what is it called? Like Beyond satellite? Gotham or something like that? Yeah, Beyond Gotham. So it's not just Gotham. It's a little bit past Gotham. Uh, but like the Jersey Shore? As, yeah, Jersey Shore. Uh, they might take you to Atlantic City. Uh, that kind of thing. Well, Jersey Shore and Atlantic City are like the same plot spot. No. No. Very different. Uh, so you're going to be able to play as Kevin Smith, Jeff Johns, and CW's The Arrow version of <laughs> Green Arrow. Oh, okay. I thought it was like... Crediting it as CW's Arrow. No, yeah, but that's, no. that's the only way to really different. You're going to play as the Green Arrow from the TV show, Green Arrow. With, like, Same and thing. all three people are going to be voicing the characters, as far as I can tell. At yeah. least the guy that plays Arrow is voicing Green Arrow. Dude, if Kevin Smith doesn't voice Kevin Smith, I'm going to be really upset. So if Kevin, Kevin Smith, Smith doesn't voice Kevin Smith and doesn't just talk and talk and talk, I'm going to be upset. If Kevin Smith doesn't voice Kevin Smith, then the game's not going to have that much dialogue. <laughs> <laughs> It's like, if he does, then they're going to need a second Blu-ray disc just to have Kevin Smith's dialogue. <laughs> I'm like getting shot the guy from. loves to talk. He's a great guy, though. But you know what the best part about that is? Yeah. His movie character is Silent Bob. Yes, which is awesome. Uh, you see here, he's actually making, he actually has funding to make Clerks 3 now? Yep, because Tusk flopped. That doesn't make any sense to me. Yep. How do, how do you have money now because your last movie did shit? No, what's great is, that movie flopped. He's already making two sequels to it. Oh, really? To yeah. Tusk? Yeah. Well, they're not straight sequels. He, Just he's other, like, weird he's horror things? They're not even horror movies. They're totally different genres. Okay. Um, I'm confused. But you didn't really watch his, a lot of his other movies, right? Like Clerks and Marats and all that stuff? I've seen them. So all of those movies take place in the same universe. Yeah. So he kind of made his own little universe. Right. He's doing the same thing with... Tusk? With Tusk. Oh, cool. So at some point in Tusk, there's a scene with his daughter and Johnny Depp's daughter. Like Kevin Smith and Johnny Depp's actual daughters? Yeah, like they're real daughters uh, in real life. Okay. And they're like, at it, th- they're basically at a convenience store, and they're being teenage girls just playing on their phones. Right. And he's making, making an entire movie based on that scene. Interesting. They're already almost done filming it, apparently. Really? Yeah. And he, he, Are those the ones that are like, I hate Americans? Yeah, they're, yeah, they're okay. like the Canadian girls. Yeah, the Canadian girls. <laughs> it's funny. He, Kevin Smith was on a Nerdist recently talking about it. Yeah. And he's like, yeah, I was talking to my wife, and I was trying to figure out why I like this scene so much. I couldn't figure out if it's just because our daughter was in it or what. And she pointed out that it's two people behind a fucking convenience store cl- counter. <laughs> it's clerks. <laughs> it's clerks with girls. Is you know, Yeah, that's funny. Uh, yeah, that'd be cool. I-, I, always wanted to see his, I always wanted to see Red State. I never got to see that. It looked really cool. He did that one, right? Yeah, I actually I liked that. Yeah. Especially if you followed any of the Phelps family bullshit. A little bit. It's been, it's been or, on Netflix. Or if years. you're just familiar with those fucking psycho piece of shits, yeah. Because the movie was, I think, at least partially inspired by them being as crazy as they are. Yeah, that's what I've heard. Um, yeah, I'll check that. I do want to check that out. So we'll see. Um, and Jeff Johns. That means the game's gonna have good writing. Maybe not. <laughs> uh, Only if he's a villain. He writes villains really good. That's true. I mean, he writes everything really good, but he particularly does. villains. So, anybody remember the game Fear? First Encounter Assault Recon? Yeah. I didn't sense. realize it was an acronym. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Uh, I didn't put the periods in here because it's stupid. Um, it was a great game. Did you ever play the first one, Cobb? It's first person, so you probably didn't like no, it. I, I think I played... It, is the sequel to that? There Fear is a two. sequel. Fear 2, right? Yes, yeah, Fear, Fear 2, and Fear... F- 3 A R for your 3. All right. So in the sequel, do you like wake up and you're like a disgraced cop basically or am I thinking of a different game? I think it's a different game. Okay. Cuz the first one you play as Point Man, he has no name. Uh the second game you actually play as a guy with a name and the third game you're back to Point Man with no name. But you're also Point Man and the villain from the first game, which is pretty cool. What game am I? Oh, I'm thinking of the Condemned. Yes, you're thinking Condemned. Those that games were cool. Fucking, yeah. That was one of those reasons I wish I had an Xbox. I think it's on PC, but I don't care anymore. Man, I, I used um, to play that while I was working at GameStop. <laughs> He's murdering I, people. I love to be able to turn the TVs in. around and just... That's funny. Uh, yeah, so Fear is... It's a first-person um, paranormal shooter. There's, like, ghosts and shit that haunt you. It's really freaky. One of those games that gave me, like, those weird nightmares. You know, not those ones where they're like nightmare nightmares, but you just have dreams and elements of this game are in your dream. Uh-huh. And you wake up like, whoa, 
that was kind of fucked up, but that's it. You know, not like in a sweat and, oh my god, I'm scared. Somebody save me. But one of those weird shits. I used to get those from that game. It was a lot of fun. Uh, but anyway, there's an online version. It's free to play. Oh, that's cool. Uh, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. So the big mechanic in that game was there was bullet time. Just like every other game that came out 10 years ago had bullet time. So that was that was it. So, and there was an online mode too. I don't I don't so but I don't, I don't understand why there's an online like I don't see the purpose of making a free to play online version of this, but it's coming out. So I figured it'd be worth mentioning for people, fans of the series, uh which it was cool. I don't know how the horror shit's going to carry over into an online multiplayer though cuz it's it's competitive, not co-op. So I don't really Yeah. It's and it seems like an awkward combination. Uh so Visceral the company making Battlefield Hardline, who also made all of the Dead Space games, they're promising that Battlefield Hardline, Hardline will work at launch. Do you want to take bets on if this is actually going to happen? Well, the thing is, Visceral's really good at making great games, so I kind of believe that. Um, the problem is, DICE is too. It's just they had that one game that was fucked up, and people don't believe in them now. Which is, it's, it's, I feel bad, because I really like DICE as a developer. They've made some fantastic fucking games that it's all It's a shame worked. that, like, one bad outing kind yeah. of just ruins a reputation like that exactly i mean i get it you know you want your battlefield game to be perfect when it comes but you know what dice has never done me wrong in anything i've ever played by them so uh yeah so it's it's just funny that they actually have to re- say that shit which is weird uh borderlands pre-sequel is gold comes out in like two weeks you're always very excited when, when you get to put that something's gold i don't really care it's just you know slow news week so i was like why not uh, plus it's borderlands so it's cool you get to play as claptrap Finally. Really? Yeah. Oh, that's kind of neat. So you can have four clap traps running around oh doing God. shit. One of his moves, right, is he high, he puts his hand up for a high five, and somebody else has to come over and initiate the high five. And if they do, everybody gets a buff. If they don't, nobody gets the buff. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> it's just... <laughs> It's fucking Claptrap, dude. He's so cool. So it's going to be a normal Borderlands game, right? Yep. It's not like that Ratchet and Clank that they made that was only multiplayer? Nope. Straight up Borderlands uh, takes place on the moon of wherever they are. Pandora, I guess. Yeah, something like that. I can't remember. Uh, Yeah, so that's going to be kind of cool, I guess. Get out of there, bro. You're going to die, bro. I hated this mission. It's because centaurs are the worst. Yeah. They're literally the worst enemy in this game. No weaknesses, shields, and they hit way too fucking hard. They're assholes. Uh, but yeah, so it's just a it's a Borderlands game. Four new characters, four new you know three new tech trees per character. All new location. The moon gravity is also whacked out because it's a moon, so you can jump way too high and you can butt bounce on enemies now, which is a, a new feature or thing they've thrown in. Yeah, there's new guns with like ice damage and shit like that. So that's kind of. Uh, Don't they always have ice damage? No, no. There's a gold chest in there. Oh, what? Um, yeah, so that's kind of cool. I'm probably not buying it. <clears throat> uh, the, the PS Plus releases were announced. Does anybody care? Um, you know, the only thing, were there, is that PS, is that all all three systems? No, there's games? some for the other consoles, but Is nothing. that just PS4? Yeah, that's just PS4. Ar- uh, Arkham Asylum is PS3 and something else that I don't really care okay. about. Well, just so I, I was going to say, like, it seems like the last couple of months, the PS3 games hadn't been, like good games like they had been for a while it seems like they were just getting whatever indie game the other consoles were getting i kind of feel like that the ps4 games have been lacking ever since i mean i think the ps4 games have been lacking the entire time yeah that's what i mean but they also don't have a library whereas ps3 i mean yeah you got bioshock infinite tomb raider yeah. devil may cry like there, there were so many good games coming out die. on that for you know? free for a while yeah and then over the <clears> summer <throat> it seemed to kind of dip yeah but i mean while Arkham Asylum is actually a fairly old game, it's at least a good game. Right, which is, yeah, it's I don't need great, it. I own it already, but... Exactly. Um, it's, it's kind of annoying. I forget what the other one was on PS3, and then the the Vita games are standard Vita indie things that look okay. Um, the PS4 stuff is also indie shit, but at least you get Drive Club. And Spelunky, I've heard, is fantastic, so that's always good. Yeah, well, Drive Club doesn't count against your free games either, right? That's, yeah, that's why they it's, there's three. Yeah, it's, oh, yeah that's a bonus true. game, they call it. It's a bonus game. It's supposed to be a launch title. A year late, man. That's nuts. <laughs> that is nuts. Uh, and so there's a huge Battlefield 4 patch coming out, speaking of Visceral and Hardline working. Uh, there's a Battlefield 4 patch coming out. It's supposed to tweak a lot of shit. Uh, players are going to move faster. It's going to fix a lot of online issues. It's a huge, huge patch, they're saying. Um, and so to get people playing it, it's going to be free to any PS Plus users for an entire week. I think starting next week. 
I didn't look at the details because I'm not going to play it. But if anybody's interested, it's going to be free to play no. for a week. So it's kind of cool. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. Star Wars The Old Republic expansion got delayed. They're going to have Revan. Yeah, I did see that. Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't see that it had gotten delayed. Yeah. I don't really care that it got delayed either because I only played that game for an hour. Yeah. Uh, no, I hear you. It's I, I liked the game. I thought it was fun. Yeah, I, it was I wanted good. to play it was more. Just... I just don't have time for MMOs really. Uh, I don't. I, I'm still <laughs> surprised I put as much time in the Final Fantasy last year as I did. Yeah, exactly. Same here. Uh, and I, that was an even free to play. No, yeah. <laughs> and I, I really wanted to put time into uh, Old Republic. Nobody else was interested though, so I just never. I, I never started did it. playing Old Republic when I got to free to play. I did too for a little bit, and, but I just don't like that the experience. There's an experience decrease. 10% or 20% less experience if you're not paying to play for the game. Yeah. So yeah, but that's just one of their ways to get an incentive yeah. to actually yeah. I mean it's it's if you're already paying for 15 so if you're 14 if you really want to get that extra experience cancel one pay for the other. Yeah. It's not like you have I mean, to I, I stopped for playing I stopped playing it when yeah. it uh when it came out. So. I really wanted to play it. I know like I was in so many betas for that game and I stuck with empire characters cuz when I played it I wanted to be republic so bad and uh finally came out and and nobody else was interested in playing it so that's right because you got in the beta for it i was in like three betas for it yeah i forgot like, you I actually was... got to play like all the classes for the most part yeah probably. i never got a character past 15 uh cap was 50 i think and i never got past 15 i never got a ship so there's a lot of that stuff i never experienced and i heard it like it opens up after 15 because then you can fly places and do the mini game and 22 it's about time now get to 24 or do the 22 play i would stick with the 20 playlist um but yeah, it's it's. I, w- I wish we would have played it more because it was definitely a lot of fun. I liked it. Uh, but yeah, so their their next expansion is supposed to implement like um, guild warships that you can use to fight other gu- guilds and like attack planets and shit. And then there's this whole uh, new storyline element with Darth Revan is back from the original Old Republic game. Didn't you kill I Revan wish they in would... the original? You no, were you Revan. were Revan. Oh, you were Revan. Yeah. And then you, 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 killed, you killed Malak. You it's, killed Malak. It's 11 years old at this point. Yeah, there's, there's it's there's still a... one of the greatest fucking spoilers oh, in yeah. games. So, and the coolest ever. thing is because that was that was back when like choose your own path stuff was still inventive and yep. original. Yep. That it was huge. depending on how you played it, you were either you just became Revan again essentially. Yep. Or you were completely reformed. I was revving again. I was always a fucking asshole. I always went good in those games just because it was always the harder thing to do. Yeah. Yeah. So I, f- I found it more challenging to actually try and be good than to just be like, ah, give me your money. Oh, yeah. Fuck you. You're dead. The final boss fight was against Malik, and it was you versus them. And if you went good, you had no attacking abilities. You went, you had all defensive stuff. And no, you had a few. Ridiculous. A- you had a few attacks. You're gone, bro. <clears throat> yeah. I think even if we went good, you could still go into the dark side powers couldn't you uh yeah <clears throat> like you could still use like force lightning and stuff it. you just had to play a lot yeah yeah there was a lot you had to do uh i love that game, i wish though. the sequel would have been better like i enjoyed the sequel but it just wasn't as good yeah yeah it wasn't it wasn't bad they, they tried to do the same like uh switcheroo kind of like oh here's a spoiler you know that same twist mid game and it just it didn't make sense uh, it's i didn't love the second one it was good though I really, really liked the third game or the first game, though. And Old Republic, I always wanted to try and get into it. I just now, I just don't definitely don't have the time. But maybe we can do that someday when we're rich and famous and sitting in an office all day doing this stuff instead of working for somebody else. We can just do an Old Republic day, Is it an Old Republic day, or month or whatever. I think it'd be fun. I said we all just break out Xboxes, provided and play it's still online. Knights of the Old Republic. That'd be cool I have too. it for my PC, so I have I it for my PC, and I it still, works. It I still, still works. own it on Xbox. That's sad. I still own my old Xbox, so I didn't lose my save, too. That's also sad. Uh, let's see. It's Dragon Age 2 trailers. Character customization and crafting. They're actually pretty cool. There's a lot of character customization you can do. Like like games like this tend to do now, like Skyrim and everything. You can adjust every little fucking thing on your character's face. Because uh, yeah, uh, you couldn't do that much in the first two, could you? Uh, in the first one, you could do... Again, the first ones we're talking about, like, six, seven years old now. Yeah. Um, so back for six, seven years ago, it was actually pretty robust. Um, in two, I think you could, but I kept my character looking like Hulk because it's, did you ever, if you've played Mass Effect, right? I played the beginning of Dragon Age also. Right. But did you ever change your character's face in Mass Effect? No. No. 
I know somebody that did. And you know how weird it is to hear Shepard talk without Shepard's face? No, but I can imagine. It's fucking strange. I I hated it when people actually <clears throat> changed his class. Yeah, I never made and, him and anything then, other and, than soldier. And I brought this up with somebody I used to work with, and he got mad. He was like, what? You get mad when people actually play the game? I'm like, no, but Shepard's a soldier. Yeah. I'm sorry. Well, Shepard's a soldier. You're not supposed to... He's a, he's a soldier in that that's the thing is like you're you're able to design that like his backstory and everything changes based on what you select, um, but yeah it's it's I agree I never changed him from anything else, um, yeah it's always weird hearing like voices that. come out of things you you're control? not expecting though, impact shards oh all right fine do that I guess it's stupid uh yeah and no, I agree but yeah I, I never changed his faces and even in but Dragon Age three in, Inquisition has a lot of like. Really cool, really robust features. You can like move jaw bones and cheekbones and make them bigger and smaller and change the nose Jesus. around. Like it's fucking nuts. Um, and on top of that, they have a huge crafting system now. They've never had crafting before, but there's like 180 different materials, and you can create a total of like 500 different things, be it weapons, armors, that kind of shit, with different enchantments and shit. So that's pretty cool. Nice. Uh, the little trailers are kind of neat, but they also put out an infographic showing off a lot of it, too. Uh, I don't believe this next one. What's some, uh, yeah. What yeah. is it? So, PlayStation Home is closing. We we addressed that last week. Yeah. yeah. It is going to be gone forever by, like, mid-next year, I think is what they're saying. I think that's the date. Um, I think it's, like, March, just to coincide with end of whatever the fuck. But you can't buy anything after, like, December 3rd. It's just going to stay active for three more months before they close it at the end of whatever the hell it is. Anyway, PlayStation Home supposedly generated more than seven figures in revenue every year it was active. What? Yeah. Like, that's unbelievable. So it's like Second Life in that, you know, whoever created Second Life is, was, you know, rolling in dough because people just go online and buy new furniture for their digital house, and somehow they've spent more than seven figures worth of money. Dude, fucking Second Life freaks yeah. me out. That's over a million dollars. Dude, people yeah, and like their Second digital Life houses is fucking weird. Yeah, it is. I don't, I don't get it with people and their digital houses and shit. Like, me neither. Well, not only that, like people, it, people literally make that their life. Yep. Like th- they have like sexual relations with people on Second it. Second Life shit. is creepy, like, man. It's weird. I think like I mean, there's I'm sure there's people in there that are just doing it for like fun. Yeah. Whatever <laughs> fun you can have with that. Just helium on your left. It's. Basically, yeah. just for sexual deviance at this point. Yeah, yeah. It's I don't. Uh, no, I mean we in Final Fantasy fourteen, we like we grinded out to get a house, and I was like, oh sweet, we finally got our house for our uh, free company because we made our own free company and everything. Yeah, we grinded out to get this house, and we borrowed like a hundred thousand gil in, from uh, somebody else in the community that we were joining to get this house. And then it's like, all right, cool. We have this house. Now it's a central hub for everybody. And you can buy personal rooms. I'm like, all right, so now I don't have to go to an inn to go to sleep. I buy my personal room for 300,000 gil, and it's an empty room that I can't even go to sleep in. Because you don't have a bed. No, I build a bed. And what you can't but you can build a bed. I, if you're you're crafting, you can yeah. build beds and stuff. Oh, that's you can build that was the whole point stuff. of like woodworker and shit. Was, oh, was a lot of that. it was you could make furniture. When the housing system came out, that was one of the big goals for it. Yeah. Anywho. So, so I built this bed. I go to right-click it, and I can't right-click exit game. <laughs> I'm like, stupid. why can't I fall asleep in my own bed in my $300,000 house or nope. room? Yep. Nope. And it's like, it's so dumb. Yeah. Like, see, rooms and in, in, in MMOs, it was a big deal back in like the EverQuest days because everybody had their own house and you could fill it up and make it look nice. And that was that was the reward system. That was the achievement system back then. You know, you didn't kill a thousand goblins and get ten points under your name. You killed a thousand goblins and got that one item you needed to make a chair that you had and you could put it in your house. Nowadays, there's no reason for that, and a lot of MMOs see that, but people still are... Yeah, that's why, like, WoW, I don't think, has ever done no. housing. There is no housing in WoW. There's no housing in Old Republic. Although Old Republic well, now has the guild uh, 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 starship, so that's going to be like a house. Old Republic had your your own personal starship was technically your housing. You couldn't really do a whole lot to it. I think it was like uh, the, the starship in Knights of the Old Republic in that you could get minor upgrades to it, but you couldn't really change the design of it, you know? Uh, but and I never 
in most games, like Skyrim, I, I get the idea for having a house because you have if you buy the right house, one of the houses, you can have an alchemy and uh, uh, an enchanting station. And that's great because there's no place in the game that has both of those in one spot. Yeah. <laughs> you have to, like, if, if I wanted to, my house was usually in White Run in Skyrim, so I could go to my house and do alchemy. But then I'd have to go to the Dragonhold Keep, which was two load screens away, and then some running. So maybe like three minutes worth of time. Yeah, so it was, it was about like three screens or so, um, which is three minutes or so, uh, which is about three loads away just to get to an enchantment station, which then you have to load twice to get back out into the world to kill things because Skyrim had a little too much loading. But Oh, yeah. So other than that, though, there's no, I've never seen a point for housing in games. It's just like... I don't have time for that shit, you know? Anyway. Uh, D4 is not coming to PS4. What is D4? D4 is this really stupid, stupid game on the Xbox One right now. Okay, then it doesn't matter. It's it's by this guy named, he calls himself Sweary. You know, um, like Suda51 from Grasshopper Studios, the guy who does like No More Heroes and shit like that? Yeah, yeah. His, his name is not Suda51, but that's the name he goes by. There's some other guy at some other studio who wants to be like Suda51, so he calls himself like Sweary82 or something like that. <laughs> um, the, the difference is his games aren't good, whereas Suda51's games are. So it's kind of, it's very different. Um, the, the last game that he did was out on Xbox 360 called Deadly Premonition, and it was supposed to be, like, this alright game, and then, like, halfway through it just goes batshit insane and none of it makes sense. Um, I don't know, I, I never really cared to look into it that much. But he just did this new game for Xbox One called D4. It's, like, four different words that start with the letter D. Kind of like Kingdom Hearts Dream Drop Distance. Oh, okay. But it's, like, dreams don't die definitely or something for d4 oh, that I don't sounds know. awful it's horrible and it's so he's just unoriginal all the way around uh, the, the letter d is hugely like it's it's the quote-unquote theme of the game like everybody's name starts with the letter d all the towns are letter d the airplane line is like not delta but starts with the letter d like it's not a theme dude it's just you being uncreative and just saying everything starts with d i don't know um it's not pretty the graphics are bad the voice <laughs> acting is horrible um I mean, some of the cutscenes are kind of silly. Uh, I watched, uh, I think it was Giant Bomb was playing it the other day. And uh, at one point, the dude, the people are just sitting there at a table and they're eating dinner. And the one guy has his, they're, they're from Boston, so they all have really shitty oh. Boston accents. And they're eating, uh, was, is it New England clam chowder in Boston? Yes, yeah. Um, and they're eating that. So the guy's just like breaking crackers into his, his bowl of clam chowder. Mm-hmm. I like I like that you tried to throw the accent on. That's how it's that, clam yeah, chowder. That, that's their accent. Chowder. Clam chowder. So they, they all sound like Mayor Quimby in the Simpsons. It, it, it's yeah, fucking it's that, horrible, dude. Boston it is horrible. Accent. But see, when you actually hear it from a person that speaks it, it's not that abrasive. No, it's not. But when you have like somebody just trying to do it, it's always terrible. The, the main guy sounds more retarded than he does sound like a Boston person. It's it's bad. Uh, there's a weird cat lady that lives with him. Nice. Like she's a lady, but she wears like a unitard, uh, and she she thinks she's a cat. Oh, I thought you meant like a crazy like a lady that just had a no, lot of cats. No, it's a lady who thinks she's a cat and sometimes transforms into a cat in random scenes, so you can buy stuff from her. It's really this sounds st- terrible. It's so dumb. Anyway, when he's when he's doing the with the soup, he's breaking these crackers, and every time the camera shifts away to the other guy and back to him. You, there's just a bigger pile of cracker crumbs on top of his soup, so I can see the the mild humor in it, but it's just it looks so dumb. Reviewers are giving it good scores; they're giving it like fours, but it looks so unoriginal. The gameplay is like now. When you say reviewers are giving it good scores, like fours, is that based four on out of fives? Five? Yeah, like like Giant Bomb gave it four out of five. IGN gave it like eight out of ten. Like people like this thing, but it looks so. It doesn't look like a game that I know that anybody would want to play. And and so it's like, I don't know. It looks stupid. Regardless, it's it's it, you know going to have a cult following. And Sweary has says it will never come to PS4. Like, it's not even like it. Will, you know, oh, it's not. It's he says it's not going to happen. I'm okay with that. With that like massive exclamation mark. Like he's adamant on it. And I'm like, I don't understand why. It's not like this game can't happen on PS4 because it looks bad. It is not pretty. So I don't know. It's kind of stupid. Uh, this one makes me upset. Pillars of Eternity is delayed. Pillars of Eternity is a Kickstarter that I paid for two years, two years ago. ago. Two years ago. 
I paid for it during my honeymoon. <laughs> nice. I was in, uh, we were in line to go on the Simpsons ride. I was like, oh shit, this ends today. So I paid for it real quick so I could get in on it real like before it ended. Um, uh, what the hell? Uh, yeah, it's it's like a, a send off, not a send off, but it's it's a throwback to the old like Baldur's Gate style. Oh yeah, I do um, remember this. Yeah, and and uh, what are those other games like Neverwinter Nights, the top down old school American RPG style game. Yeah, I remember you actually being kind of um, interested in it when it when the Kickstarter was running. Yeah, it's it looks we really cool. worked together at that point. What's it? Yeah, we did. Uh, yeah, it looks really cool, uh, but it's delayed till sometime next year because they just want to polish it some more. So I mean, at least that, I don't know. At it's, least, it's, at least, considering it was a Kickstarter, they're taking their time. Oh yeah, they're and they they, they obviously have the funding already, so they don't yeah. have to worry about like throwing it out there. Mm-mm. Well, it's good because it's you know, most of those times you put money into a Kickstarter and you never know what's going on. These guys update weekly. Every week, I get a new email from them saying, "Hey, this is what we worked on. This is what we're making strides on. This is what's holding us back." Like they're fucking on point. I get that. So, I, I backed. Um, it was an RPG one. Mm-hmm. From a lot of guys that worked on like old Final Fantasies and like, oh, yeah, Dragon cool. Warriors and stuff. Yeah, um, I forget the the name of it off the top of my head. Phoenix something. Yeah, um, but it looked cool, and they they constantly update, and it, like it, it's not a bad thing. No, it's good. Yeah, I I don't know where they're at. I get updates from uh, Harmonix on a biweekly basis right. about like, yeah, I get where they're at and what they're doing and how they're getting this stuff done and for amplitude. Like, yeah, that's next year, also, right? Um, I they they sent out something because I'm going to be in the credits. I yeah. think you probably are too. Yeah, I did too. They they want it done by February. Yeah. So I filled it out already, but so I'm guessing probably February or March. Yeah, sometime next year, which is cool. Oh uh, yeah, Pillars of Eternity is delayed, which makes me sad. There's a new Kickstarter that caught my eye. It looks really stupid awesome. Um, it's this game. It's it's a real-time strategy for PCs by this company, Uber Entertainment. They've made like Planetary Annihilation and shit like that. These other really good, massive-scale real-time strategies. This game is you play as the apocalypses on Earth. Okay. So, the, like, the machines start to take over. So it says the humans summoned the ancient ones. That was a mistake. Exactly. Now, the ancient ones and the machines are fighting over Earth. It's called human resources. <laughs> nice. That's their resources. They don't collect b- minerals and shit. They collect humans. So and when you have more humans, you can make more, like, uh, uh, fucking robots or, like, squid monsters. And it looks so ridiculous. The art style is, like, cell shaded and, like, kind of, like, cartoony. And it looks like it should not be in place for a game this, like, dark. But it's really fucking cool looking. Um, but Earth has already been destroyed, so each map is on its own shard of a piece of Earth floating kind of in space. People are still alive because there's still an atmosphere, but the Earth is exploding. And it's just, That's it's, awesome. It's, you play as the apocalypse. It's what, really cool. You said this is a new game or a Kickstarter? It's a Kickstarter. So check out Human Resources on Kickstarter. It just started that does yesterday. Sound pretty cool. Uh, dude, twenty bucks gets you a copy of the game when it comes out, and it's they they want like one point four mil, which isn't bad. Um, it looks really cool. The video was super exciting, and if they get enough money, they're gonna put uh, one to two more new or extra races to play as, which is cool. Uh, Evolve has a seven hundred and fifty dollars statue coming. That's ridiculous. Yeah, for its Goliath, the main monster. Yeah. Uh, it's thirty five pounds. I mean, that's gonna be a huge fucking statue. I holy shit! Wait, right? how much? Seven hundred fifty dollars. Seven hundred fifty dollars. It's thirty five pounds. They're t- they're definitely not making a lot of those. That's heavier than your boobs, Rich. I know it's heavier than me. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> you wish. Oh wait, hold on. Thirty five pounds. Yeah, no, yeah, that's heavier than no. I was <laughs> I was still caught on the seven hundred and fifty. So confused. Oh yeah, seven hundred fifty dollars. Um. I, when you said heavy, yeah. I, I was still thinking 750 pounds. Heavier than your boobs. Back in that cave to the left somewhere where you're looking, I believe, is a yellow ogre. He's going to give you 20 of those points. Yeah, he's going to be here somewhere. Uh, anyway, uh, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, and the last Tinker is not coming to Xbox One. Good. Fuck you, Xbox. No, Nobody cares, though. Yeah, I just... Do you know what the last Tinker is? I think I do. Vaguely, I, I, I've bad. heard it. I've seen like the stuff for it a few times, and it, I just didn't care. It's bad. It's it's some platform or some company made, and their their reasoning is uh, they're citing poor sales on the PlayStation Four and not enough Xbox Ones, are why they're not going to put it on Xbox One anymore. That's a 
Makes sense. Yeah, no, I mean, it does to an extent, but realistically, it's, let's just say, you made a shitty game. That's why you're not putting it on Xbox One. It has nothing to do with how many consoles there are out there. Because even if it was on there, nobody's going to buy it. It looks stupid. Sorry, guys. I hate to be mean like that, but come on. If you're going to put a game out, it has to be good. Make it a good one. You can't, you can't half-ass this shit. Not anymore. Um, movies and TV. You guys ready? Woo! I'm listening. Chris Pratt was on SNL. Did you guys watch it? No. I didn't, because I never watched SNL. I did see some of the um, the, the promos they do. It right. was him and whoever the girl was that was the musical guest. Yeah, that was pretty funny. Uh, Ariana Grande. Yeah, I just saw, I saw the one, really. The one where she's like, man, I was really hoping it was going to be the raccoon. He's my favorite. Uh, that's not Ariana Grande. Oh. That's an SNL lady. Uh, oh, okay. I didn't... Yeah. Yeah, I have no fucking clue. Ariana Grande is like Asian-ish or something. She's... She's... I think she... I don't know what she is. She's 17, Rich. No, she's not. Is she? I think she's 19, regardless. Well, there's that other girl that, that's really popular <laughs> singing now who's like 14. I don't know who that is at all. Uh, she does the royal song. That, Lord, that Lord. Weird owl. She's Lord, 17. She's 16. Whatever. Anyway. Um, yeah, no, those promos that he did with, with that comedian girl. She's really funny, by the way. I've seen her on Conan and shit. She's hilarious. Uh, but those were pretty funny. Um, other than that, though... They did this one sketch, which when when Richie's done this, we can just hit up Chromecast and you can watch. Yeah. Or maybe after this, you can watch it. Was it the uh, the one where he's in the chef thing? <clears throat> they're doing the the Marvel scenes. Yeah, so it was uh, th- the whole thing was Marvel it released a movie. You know, the Guardians of the Galaxy thing. They, they released Guardians of the Galaxy about five random creatures saving the world, and it made so much money oh, I that know Marvel about. can literally yeah. do anything. And it's just uh, them making up movies. Nice. Like the one movie's called Pam. It's, and it's about just, a woman named Pam. It's just about a woman named Pam. But the the lettering, like they do, they do Pam in the Guardians of the Galaxy lettering, where it like turns to the side. It's just Pam. Marvel's Pam. Nice. And then they're like, and then the sequel, Marvel's Pam, the Winter Pam. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's so stupid. And then, like they all form a team, and it's like it's like. He a gets, chef. Uh, they get four pirate, people yeah. off a bus. Nice. Yes. <laughs> four random people off a bus. And that's what the movie's called. Random people from a bus. Or bus people. bus people. It's it's really funny. Uh, I, I enjoyed watching that. Um, Interstellar is going to be in theaters two days early. Two days instead early. of November 7th, it's going to hit November 5th in select theaters. And most of those are theaters that have 70 millimeter uh, projectors. Uh, that's right. That whole thing was filmed in a projector, wasn't it? No, he did a lot of it, a lot of it in IMAX. And IMAX is a 70 millimeter format. Very okay. few theaters support it. Not even mo- most IMAXs don't anymore. Okay. Um, a lot of them are digital. So it's it's he's getting this movie into any theater that has 70 millimeter projectors and playing it 70 millimeter. Normal is 35. So really, it's it's on film, which most people don't record on anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, which is huge. And it's on 70 millimeter, which means it's twice as large as a standard film, which is normally 35. Um, there's pretty and much people said, hate him for it. Uh, no, no, it's uh, him and I think it's Spielberg and Abrams and a couple others are vowing to continue to record on film um, because no, no, I don't mean like like other <laughs> filmmakers. Like I'm right. sure studios and theaters yeah. and stuff like that are just kind of like really. Like, maybe really come maybe because I, I know a lot of theaters if they're a good theater they want to keep the old stuff going too uh, as much as they want to stick with digital and move forward they want to honor the the old the past traditions do um, we have any theater around here that would be showing it like did you look i think uh imax and king of prussia is doing it in i in uh, 70 millimeter imax which is cool um but yeah it's it's i was just reading and, and 70 millimeter is just so badass compared to 35 yeah it, it's just it's a bigger film so it gets so much more detail and that's why imax screens are so fucking big because the film itself is that big oh wow so it's when it projects it's going to be huge and even with it being that big you're still going to get way more detail out of it than you would on a 35 so um yeah i think imax in king of prussia is doing it uh, there might have been one other place in like North Jersey somewhere, I think yeah, there were three theaters there. that were doing it. So uh, I might, I might consider it because Big Hero Six comes out that same weekend. I want to see that one. More I was trying to remember what else came out that weekend last week on the podcast, and I remembered it's Big Hero Six and Interstellar both on November seventh. And I have to take my sister to see Big Hero Six for her birthday. Big Hero when Six looks like it'll be probably opening weekend. Um, I'll let l- you know. Let me know when you buy tickets. I'll give you the money. No. Um, 
yeah, no, that movie looks way too much fun. I can't yeah, wait for that. I can't wait for that. But Interstellar, I just it just looks gorgeous. So uh, yeah, that's one of those things. Like I want to see it because it looks pretty, but I feel like it's not going to be a good movie. Oh man, did you see Gravity? No, oh, Gravity was so good. I don't know. I just I don't really like like I don't dislike Matthew McConaughey. Yeah, but his movies are very like hit or miss with being able to actually stomach them. I can understand that. Um, yeah, I I, that's, I totally get it. And, like, Matthew McConaughey not, is just he's one yeah. of those actors that. You don't you don't hate him, but it's just, it's Matthew McConaughey. Like I don't mind I seeing it. him on like talk shows or like awards because he's yeah. generally kind of funny. But yeah. his movies are just I he's don't a, know. He's a he's a weird guy. Yeah, but I get it. I do. Uh, and, the, and just with how long that movie that is, one. like it's just no. shy of three hours. I don't know if I want to sit in a theater for three hours to watch that. Right. Yeah, I want to see Interstellar though. It looks really cool. Uh, pfft, the bat suit costs a hundred thousand dollars. Dude, I saw that. That's because they wouldn't let Ben Affleck keep it. No, he, and you think he could just buy it. I know. I don't understand why he did it. Like he's fucking Ben Affleck. <laughs> I know. Just, he, just he asked, after send, production is over. All he has to do is send him his royalty check for Armageddon, and that'll cover it. Seriously. <laughs> uh, yeah. No. He asked if he could keep it after production was over, and the, their response was, "If you have a hundred thousand dollars." And for some reason, he said, "Oh, never mind." His wife probably wouldn't let him do it. It's ridiculous. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Stupid Jennifer, Jennifer Garner. Garner has that much money; she could do it too. She's still getting alias checks, I bet. Probably. It's ridiculous. Um. Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon 2 will debut on Netflix. I've never seen the first one. Me neither. But I just thought that was kind of cool that Netflix is really stepping up their game to keep like original content going. <laughs> now in the form of movies, yeah. they have the anime, their TV shows. Uh, Netflix is awesome. Fuck Comcast, dude. Seriously. It's, you get so much more out of Netflix. And there's no commercials. Woo! That's why, I, even though I do have cable box, I don't, I don't get Hulu because I'm tired. Mm-hmm. I don't... I'm not paying for ads on a service like that. Look, I don't mind it on Hulu because it's eight dollars for ads, whereas cable is eighty dollars for ads. Yeah, that's my the only way problem I with see Hulu it. is it's the same like yep. commercials every time, mm-hmm. and I don't know. It, they're if you're not marathon watching something on Hulu, it's not bad. If you're doing a week to week like I'm doing with like uh, uh, Gotham and Shield, it's not bad. But think of like let's say you watched more than just two shows. Yeah. Like, if you watch, say you watched all of your TV mm-hmm. on Hulu. Mm-hmm. Whereas with regular TV, even when you have to watch the commercials, yeah. they're at least varied from station to station yeah. and stuff like that. With Hulu, like, there's three commercials, and you're going to see those three same commercials on every show for that week. Yeah. No, I, again, I, I get it's, it. It's the same thing. On, Comcast On Demand was doing it for a while. When, yeah. um, I want to say it was like the end of the season last year. NBC, if you watched any show on NBC On Demand, yeah. you, you can't fast forward through them. So they had and they have their commercials, which is fucked up. Every show had this one three and a half minute long commercial. Yep, one commercial, three and a half minutes long. Yeah, for that movie Box Trolls that's coming out. Oh, it was like this behind the scenes look and everything about about it and a trailer. Yeah, it was to the point where initially I thought the movie looked neat and I, I was willing to like maybe see it when it comes out on DVD. Yeah, now I hope the movie flops so fucking bad that whoever worked on it is fired. <laughs> <laughs> uh, look, I can understand the commercials thing, but. Again, me not having cable and being able to watch the shows. Uh, you know, I don't mind giving somebody $8 a month to let me yeah, watch exactly. them. Yeah, exactly. For what um, you're paying for it. Yeah. As long as I'm not, again, if, 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 as long as you don't marathon things on, uh, net, on, on Hulu, it's not bad. Um, we do three shows, though. It's, it's uh, Once Upon a Time, uh, Gotham, and S.H.I.E.L.D. Sometimes we'll throw in other things like Brooklyn Nine-Nine, but I think that's coming to Netflix anyway, so there's no point, but... That kind of shit. Um, but, I, 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 you know, I get it. Uh, Mark Strong and Rihanna are rumored to be in Bond 24. Who is Mark Strong? Mark I recognize Strong, that. Mark Strong, I believe, is the guy with the weird teeth. I'll just look him up. British guy. Because that name was familiar. He was the was British he, guy with the weird teeth. That really takes it down. It does. Him. Trust me. Lord, uh, what's it called, from Sherlock Holmes movies? The uh, first one? Yes, Moriarty? Yes. I yeah. don't know. No, no. He was the, the main bi- Lord Blackthorn or something yeah, like that. Yeah, that's it. I think that's him. Yeah, no, it definitely is. Yeah. So uh, he might be the villain, which is cool, because he plays badass villains. He might be a good guy. Who cares? As long as he's in it, it's cool. Yeah, he Re- was in Kick-Ass, Green Lantern, Zero That's Dark it. Thirty, Robin Hood, John yeah. Carter. Yeah, he's a cool guy. I like him. Rihanna, I could give two shits about. I don't really need Rihanna in Bond, but that's kind of what Bond and she's going to end up being the Bond girl, and that's yeah, stupid. Yeah, sh- she'll be the Bond girl. She'll also do the music, the Bond song this time. Like, the last one was Adele. Um and Sky at least Fall. that song, like that Skyfall song, was good and fantastic. Song. And Adele can actually <clears throat> sing. Yeah, Rihanna can't. Uh, I mean, Halle Berry did one. So did uh, she tomorrow, she no, tomorrow never dies. She I know she was the Bond it? girl, but I don't think she was a singer. I think she sang that song. 
that year. I don't know, maybe not. But I mean, it's just what's what Bond does. They they tend to get like an actress that can be the Bond girl and do the song or you know whatever. It's, well, Adele wasn't the Bond girl. I know it was a shame. <laughs> she should have been. She should have at least been in the movie. Um, other than just singing, but you know, whatever. But she's chunky, and no one likes her. I think she's nice. Wow, girl. Rich. I'm not. I'm not wow. serious. I'm not. But just it's it's, it's the reason why they didn't use her. The, I know. I understand. It's the internet consensus, but that's the internet. Um, I, th- I think she would have been a cool addition to the movie. A nice, uh, a, a nice change of the standard Bond tropes. You know, would have been yeah. interesting to have Adele up there. Um, but yeah. So Rihanna, whatever. But Mark Strong's cool. Um, Yvette Nicole Brown is not returning for Community Season 6. Did you see why? I don't really care. I never liked her character. See, I thought her character was, was at least a good counter for some of the others. She was too like Jeff. and she was annoying. But now, why is she not coming back? Um, apparently, her dad's really sick. So uh, she had the choice between, you know, working 16-hour days for months at a time yeah. or being around for her dad, who probably isn't going to be around much longer. Now I feel bad. You should. I don't really. I don't really care. Uh, Rush Hour TV series is probably coming to CBS. And I, th- that movie is what? I love the movies, but this is The really... first movie came out in 1998. Yeah. The third one, I think, was 2007. There was a third one? Yeah. Was it the same people? Yeah. I didn't even know. Yeah, they, they've done three Rush Hours. I th- it was like 98, 2002, and then like 2007 or Jesus 8. Jesus Christ. I knew like, about the second one. Yeah, the <laughs> second one was in France. I don't care. I don't remember the, r- I didn't, I don't think I ever saw the other one. I, I think the third one. I remember the third one had the little girl from the first one, but she was all grown up, and Chris Tucker kept hitting on her. <laughs> Weird. Yeah. And hilarious. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's it's the same vein of uh, why is Nickelodeon think now's a good time for the uh, School of Rock TV show, you know? Yeah. It's like, it's School of Rock was, what, 2002? This is ridiculous you now. Come on. Was that movie really that long ago? Maybe not. I don't know. But I know it's not that seems, new. That actually seems relatively yeah. on point, but that just seems so long ago. Yeah, no, exactly. And it's like, oh, let's make a TV show. You know, I, I get the same thing with, with uh, Rush Hour, but I, yeah, it's just, I also loved Rush Hour. I, I liked School of Rock, too, but uh, Rush Hour, I feel like, is one of those things that, like, you can, it, it'll translate better to a TV show than School of Rock. Is it Chris Rock and Jackie Chan? Though? I highly doubt it. Then it's not. Yeah, not on a TV show. No, it's, it's gonna, gonna be it's gonna be two random people, which will be fine. Chris Rock barely acts, or not Chris Rock, Chris Tucker. Yeah, he doesn't do anything anymore. He, he I remember looking at his like IMDb around when like Rush Hour three came out. Yeah, he did Rush Hour, and I think there was like two things he did between Rush Hour and Rush Hour two. Yeah, and that was ninety eight to like o two. Jackie Chan's pretty rare, too. And then there was nothing from 02 to 07. Yeah. So he did nothing between Rush Hour 2 and Rush Hour 3. But ja- Jackie Chan, I think, still does a lot of, like, Chinese movies and stuff. Yeah. He's got something coming out um, in the U.S. soon, I think. But, you know, he does something every couple of years. Like, yeah. so, the last few years, they haven't been great movies. Like, there no. was the Karate Kid, se- like, reboot, which... That was actually That was a good. good movie. I didn't like it, it as great. much. It wasn't bad, no. but I like Jackie Chan a lot. But I, I just didn't like the way that he played the whole mentor character. Yeah. I like I Mr. Miyagi. I can get that. It's kind of how I feel about Alfred and Gotham. I don't and, love it. See, I like I Alfred. I like Alfred. <clears throat> I don't love He's too grumpy. Although I can get it because it's, it's you know, he's he's thrust into the fatherhood. And really, he, so I he, get it. But. He's, you got to figure, like, we're seeing that <clears throat> you're seeing you're seeing a, a setup with those two that you've never yeah. seen before. You, and, and nothing else you ever see a young Bruce with. Alfred, like, right after yeah. the death of the parents. I could do without those scenes, though. I don't really feel like the, the Bruce shit really adds to the show. Yeah, I don't think it does that much either, so, but... Yeah. I, I just, I, I'm alright with it. I just don't... I don't love it. I, could do I, I think them. that's one of those things where it's like, well, people want it to be about Batman, so let's just keep showing them his yeah. evolution into Batman. It's because really, it's, it's the misconception where people are like, oh, Batman TV show. No, it's... It's just like... The, do, you, do you know what the, this episode, this week's episode was called? Selena Kyle. And how much screen time did she have? Four and a half minutes. Something like that, yeah. <laughs> it's honestly yeah. probably right. Yeah, no, I agree. She, she was in that... Because I, I said that to Erica while we watched it last night, and I said it to her, I'm just like, it's funny, this episode is called Selena Kyle. She was only in that one scene at the very beginning, though. And yeah, this, was, the this was before the end. Yeah. Yeah. It, like, it was like 10 minutes left in the show. I'm just like, she's only been in one scene. Yep. Yeah, I thought that was a little weird. Uh, Zombie Land 2 is happening, finally. I'm actually excited about that, because I love the first as long As long as it's the same cast. As long as Emma Stone's back, I don't care. The door opens. Crazy. Um, 
That's so yeah, that's kind of cool. I'd like to see the same cast or like some evolution of them. With as like, long as uh, one honestly, of them died in between. As long as Woody Harrelson's there, I'm okay. Yeah, I, I like Jesse Eisenberg. I, yeah, he was, was actually really good in that movie. Yeah. I think it was the first time I ever really saw him in anything, and I I loved him in that I, movie. You know, uh, yeah, <laughs> like everybody so in that, that movie was actually really good. Yeah, isn't the girl? Um, Abigail Breslin? I don't know what that means. That's who the, the younger girl was. What else was she in? Little Miss Sunshine. That's what I, that's what I thought. Okay. That's what I was going to say. Yeah, she's been in a bunch of stuff. Uh, yeah, that's cool. Um, Adrian Palicki, who plays Mockingbird in S.H.I.E.L.D., or well, hasn't yet, but is playing her, uh, says that there are talks of her showing up in Avengers. Have they talked about when Mockingbird is actually supposed to show up in S.H.I.E.L.D.? I would imagine soon, but I don't know. I don't know. Because they, they've got a lot of stuff that they announced was happening that they have, like... Yeah. I mean, obviously, they have plenty of time to get to, oh, but... Yeah. yeah. We'll talk about S.H.I.E.L.D. in a bit more. Uh, Jeremy Renner is, uh, released the info for, the, for his contract. He is on three Avengers movies and one spinoff. So we should Does get, that, like... Is that Thor, though? What? Is that no. one spinoff It's like Thor? 12 seconds. I don't think that counts. You know, Marvel is, is you're contracted for, you know, three movies... But that also means that if they need you to cameo in something, you have to do it or else you're fired forever and they That's hate true. you. So it's, you know, one of the reasons Joaquin Phoenix, which I'm getting to now, uh, is not going to be Doctor Strange. Did, did we talk about on this at all, the, the scene that was supposed to happen in Captain America with Hawkeye? Uh, I want to say maybe. Where, yeah, I know we talked about it before. Where Hawkeye was actually supposed to be in Winter Soldier. Yep. But Jeremy Rayner's yeah, he was, schedule conflicted with it. He was yep. like they were supposed to have a small fight and everything. That elevator scene and everything. No, no, no. He wasn't supposed to be he in wasn't the in the elevator, but everything that takes place right after the elevator as Cap's leaving, Jeremy Rayner's supposed to be on his tail yeah. the entire time. Yeah, and then it was supposed to get to a point where like they're fighting and he purposely like misses yep. to get in close to basically tell him, you know, I got. I, I took the tracking you off. or something. Yeah, well, it's it's yeah. They were going to fight on the bridge where the the, the Quinjet fires at uh, Cap as he's driving the motorcycle along the bridge. Uh, is where him and Renner are supposed to fight, and um, yeah, he misses a shot and they get in close. And Renner says, "I grabbed the tracker, hit me and go." Is like pretty much what he's supposed to be. Something yeah. quick, and it's, it's a shame that they couldn't get it in there, that they couldn't figure it out, because that was just going to be yeah, that would have made it a lot cooler. That would have been so awesome because Hawkeye is so underused right now. It's disappointing. Uh, I, we need to see more of him because he's super. cool. It's a shame because they had so much Black Widow in the movie. Like just that little bit for Hawkeye would have been nice. It would have been perfect. Yeah. yeah. Because um, at this point, everybody wants a wants a Scarlett Johansson starring Black <laughs> Widow movie. Yeah. Everyone's like, eh, who cares about Hawkeye? I want a Hawkeye movie. I want a Hawkeye movie in the vein of Matt Fraction's Hawkeye. Where it's not it's not a superhero movie. No. It's just like this is what Hawkeye does it's, on his day off. Yeah, it's just him <laughs> hanging out at home, drinking beers, getting wasted, having covered, barbecues on the roof of his covered in band aids. Yeah, <laughs> hanging out with with uh, Gil or whatever. Grills. Grills. It's a roof guy. He's it's, dead though. I know. Poor Grills. I haven't read that book in a while. Well, it ends soon. Is is it ending? Ending? Yeah. That's cool. It's because it's um. Th- and a fraction was going to leave it. Well, it's not just that. Like the uh, the shipping for it yeah. has been so bad. Cause I think like Asia was sick or ill or something, so he got really behind. So right. they had like all these weird <laughs> fill in issues and yeah. Like it, I I think like there's been three issues in the last six months that have actually released. It's <sighs> disappointing. So like it's it's been bad. It's I mean the book's been good, just the shipping's been yeah. Bad. I, I loved that book. That was one of my tops. So oh well. Um. There's going to be an I Am Legend movie reboot. Which is stupid. I know. It was one movie, what, seven years ago? Yeah. You're moving too fast. Like, I counted. I'm annoyed enough at all the other stupid reboots they're doing for these like I, random series that are only a few years old. The dumb thing about the I Am Legend reboot, so I Am Legend was already a reboot. Yeah. Was it? I thought yeah. it was just the Omega movie. Man. Omega Man wasn't, I don't think it was based off of the same book or anything. I think it was the same stuff. Because there's literally a book called I Am Legend that I thought was pretty much the same thing. Yeah. I Am Legend was based off the book I Am Legend, I believe. But no, No. it's one of those... uh, It's a Hollywood, dude. I'm I'm tired of so many reboots as it is. Just make something original. Uh, You know, if you want to borrow from I Am Legend and make it a similar premise, go for it. But a reboot of I Am Legend just so you can turn it into a three-movie series? Fuck you. I'm tired of this shit. Make one-offs. One-offs are great. Make a great movie and let it exist as it is and die as it is. I don't need to see a sequel every time a great movie comes out. There's one that came out recently that they're not doing a sequel for, and I'm grateful for I can't remember what it was, though. It was a good movie. Anyway, come up with it someday. Um, oh, Netflix has a deal with Adam Sandler. They're going to get four movies made by him. 
I like this. I, I'm, I'm torn because I like Adam Sandler, but his movies generally suck. So I don't lately. know if it's, his yeah. last few movies just. Yeah. Like the grown ups movies were all right at best. They're good. Yeah. I mean they're they're watchable at least. But, but like it, Jack and Jill looked stupid. Yeah, if uh, I didn't see the other one with Drew Barrymore because I fucking hate Drew Barrymore. Yeah. The other one when he marries her. It's the third time he's married her in three decades. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like, um it's so Yeah, really, I mean it hasn't been thirty years, but it's been three different decades. Three that different they've done decades. They've married each other in three different decades in I mean the wedding movies. singer was good. Fifty first dates yeah. was eh. Pretty first dates was alright. I and didn't hate it, but it wasn't anything spectacular. No, it's the not... new the newer one did look funny, and it might be something that maybe like if I ever see it in Redbox and maybe it looked like it's standard, or if it's on streaming on Netflix at some point. It looked like Andum Sa- Andum. It looked Andum like Adam. Sander. <laughs> it looked like Adam Sander <laughs> Sandler slapstick humor. You know, which yeah. is, it's what he does, and that's fine. Um, I I like his stuff. But it's it's, yeah, it's not like, been great, so if, I don't know if it's a really like I said, good deal. For the Netflix, first Grown Ups but... was hilarious. Oh yeah, I liked the it. second one had its moments, but it, it lost something I think because they were all in their normal lives. Yeah, rather than everyone kind of being together on that like lake house. Yeah, but you know, just because it it's a deal with Adam Sandler, are they yeah. necessarily Adam Sandler movies? Well, it's like he's he gonna stars in or write. He's, he's gonna yeah. direct because write or maybe if star. If in... it's just his production company yeah, that's working on them, good news because like. Happy, Grandma's Happy Boy Madison's is still one of the great. funniest fucking movies I've ever seen. Exactly. Happy Madison's been awesome, so... Yeah, I mean, it'll be cool, but yeah, uh, hopefully it turns out well. Um, I skipped another one. Dracula Untold may be part of the Shared Monsters universe. I thought Universal. that was confirmed. Is it still just speculation? Uh, I read this like two days ago, so who knows? Okay. Uh, Shared uh, Monsters universe? Yeah, so... Like Godzilla, King Kong, all that stuff that they're doing? There, it all takes place in one... Kind Legendary is rebooting like all of the like old awesome monster yeah. franchises. Godzilla was the first. Um, apparently, Pacific Rim is supposed to tie. Well, I guess Pacific Rim was the first. Yeah, maybe. but that's supposed to tie in with it too. And- as long as it's Universal Pictures, I think. I think it means that Universal's doing shit like, uh, uh, like the Wolfman and the Mummy because they're redoing both of those. Yeah. So I think is what that's more along the lines of it. I don't know if Godzilla was universal. I thought it was. Well, you, Godzilla was legendary. It was legendary. But oh, I don't know right. if it was universal uh, as the distributor. Whereas um, these ones are Universal's distributor, but le- I think I don't even know if Legendary worked on it. Uh, but yeah, so it's it's the Universal monsters, the the Wolfman, Frankenstein's monster, uh, the Mummy, all of their old stuff. Okay. They're trying to. Bring them all back and do the shared monster universe again, uh, like they used to have way back in the day. Because that's what Universal was really known for back then was the really cool monster movies. Uh, so it'd be kind of neat if it's all part of it. Uh, I'd be excited. Um, although I don't really. So would it be part, it would, uh, Was it Anthony Hopkins in the Wolfman a few years ago? And somebody else. So that would Javier that be, Bardem, maybe. Yeah, I I think, would that be part of it? It wasn't him. I don't know. Uh, I think so. That or they might be re-rebooting that again. I don't know. That was an alright movie. And they're good. They are rebooting The Mummy. Yeah. No, no Brendan Fraser, though. Yeah, it's it's going to not be that whole sort of... Yeah, it's a whole different setup, which would be cool. It's a shame. That third Mummy movie could have been a lot better. I didn't see it. There's the, the Tomb of the Dragon or whatever. Yeah, the, it, it went a little... Everything about it was different except for Brendan Fraser and I believe the, the brother-in-law. Yeah, I'd imagine. So like, if they could have done... I mean, obviously it would be hard to do another one with the, the same Mummy because they pretty much finished him off in the sequel yeah but if they could have done another like egyptian set one with the the same cast yeah even though like obviously the kid would be <laughs> a lot older now so him recasting is one thing but his wife wasn't even in the second movie. no th- well no they recast her as yeah. uh maria bello yeah which was disappointing and then you know jet lee was all right but at the same time could have done without jet lee and them being yeah. in like well, I don't know. Jet Li was the Asian actor when that movie came out, just like uh, the guy who's the Asian actor now is the Asian actor. Who's the Asian actor? In, in, uh, the guy in Inception Godzilla. and Godzilla, and yeah. uh, he was also in oh, oh, Pirates I know 3. About. I yeah. can't remember his name, but he's. if you need an Asian actor, let's get that guy. It's, you know, Jet Li was that guy for a long time. Now it's this dude. It's ridiculous. Um, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Michael Caine leaks that Daniel Radcliffe is in Now You See Me Too. I love this, because all the he- t- headlines were Harry Potter goes... <laughs> Harry Potter is the magician. <laughs> really? Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> this is Now You See Me Too. Did you see the first one? Yeah, that Mike- movie was awesome. It was good. Who was Michael Caine in the first one? Because I cannot remember. He was the guy they stole from. Yeah, he was um like the insurance guy. Right. Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I think the first person they stole from was like 
Just Morgan, some guy. Morgan. Oh, yeah, it was the guy who mm-hmm. kind of looked like Robert Downey Jr., but wasn't him. Morgan because Freeman was the He was essentially the bad debuffer. guy that they yeah. put into jail at the end, wasn't he? That was Morgan Freeman. At the very end, yes. Like, not in jail, but they basically, like, yeah. tricked him into a cell. Yeah, yeah. And then you find out that um, the twist at the end, Mark was, Ruffalo. Yeah, yeah, was, yeah, that was a good twist. It was a good movie. Yeah, I did not see that coming. No, I'm gonna see that again. Uh, but yeah, so now Harry Potter's gonna be in it as Michael Caine's son, which would be cool. Daniel Radcliffe, rather. Sorry, sorry, Harry. I didn't want to mess you up. Harry Potter, Daniel Radcliffe. Uh, yeah. And Pirates Five shoot start shooting early next year. Eh. Pirates Five. I mean, it's it was I interesting. I've seen the last two, so you didn't see three and four. No. You didn't see it was Dead Man's Chest was the third one. Third was no. No, um, it was um, uh, World's no, End was World's the third Anniversary. one, and Island of Tides. Yeah, the, was the fourth fourth one. one wasn't good. See, I liked the fourth one. It wasn't awesome. No, but I, it was funny at least. It was, but it just by not having half the cast, it just really lost a lot. Uh, rumors are that five and six are going to have Orlando Bloom and Kara Knightley back. I heard just Orlando Bloom. I'll take either one, honestly. I mean, because they really did. As long as they the, keep to the lore, that's fine. Yeah, exactly. Because he's he's he's, he's David Jones. Davy Jones. Well, no, as, as long as it's ten years later, because they show at the end of three. If you watch the after credits, yeah, the ten years pass and he leaves the ship. Yeah, he can leave the ship. Otherwise, every ten years, he's he, for that ten years, he's still he's Davy Jones. So oh, um, he only had to be Davy Jones. For, I never, like I said, I never saw the original. No, he's, ta- he's Davy Jones the whole time. At no, no, the I, I, ten years. Something happened where like he only had to. He only did it for an X amount of time. Like he was done because it's. I maybe I'm making this. I, up think, in my I head. thought it was every ten years he's able to, like you said, leave the ship and come to land and well, be with there, his wife. There was and a child. time frame where he can leave the ship and come to land, but I I remember him coming in the after credit scene of three. Yeah, I could have sworn it was basically like he was leaving the ship and he was no longer Davy Jones. No, I think because he, he had like the the curse was broken because he didn't. I don't know. I think he was just leaving because he was allowed to. Like, every 10 years, he's able yeah. to leave the ship and be he, he's, with his family for, like, a day or he, whatever. Yeah, as Davy Jones, you're only allowed to be on land once every 10 years. Yeah, something like that. That's why That's why uh, Johnny Depp was running around with a jar of sand so he could pour it down and be on land yeah. anywhere he was. Yeah, I love that. That was yeah. great. And <laughs> so um, stupid. at one point, I think it was in the, in the third one, like, I have seen bits and pieces, uh, Davy Jones is standing in a bucket of water. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Um, uh, it looks interesting, I guess. Uh, I, I'm kind of... I'd like to see more. I thought it was cool. I know they had three movies planned when they made the fourth one. And it's just, I guess the fourth one didn't do nearly as well as they thought it would. So it just kind of got yeah. pushed off to the side, which... Whatever. Don't bother doing the Queen shit. It ends tomorrow. I am. Um, I wasn't even gonna. Um, yeah. Uh, I'll see it, I guess. Uh, comic book news... Lady Thor first issue came out. Nobody read it, though, so it doesn't matter. Yep. Uh, I thought about picking it up just to see what it was like. I might get it, because I think Jason Aaron's going to be in New York, so but it might be cool to get him to sign it. Between having to pick up all of the shit for, um, well, not all the stuff, but I had to pick up the two books for Vogel. Yeah. And Marvel books are all just stupid expensive now. They don't have any more two ninety nine books. No, they're all three. dollars They're all three ninety nine, and then Death of Wolverine is 5 Ew. So... I, it was an extra ten dollars to grab his two books, which I mean he's going to pay me back for. But still, but I didn't want to like have to spend you know yeah fifty dollars on comics. Like, yeah, yeah. I was talking to him about Death of Wolverine, or he was saying that you're picking it up for him, and I was like, I was like, I don't really care much for that book. It just doesn't look all that interesting to me. I'm just curious, and I like Steve McNeven and Charles so Soleil or yeah. Soul, however his name's supposed to be said. Yeah, they're both good. Like uh, th- for them, I'm interested. Like that. That's but... basically why I picked it up. It's like. You don't see Steve McNeven do too many yeah. books. Anything, yeah. And so why not? It's a good writer. It's a good artist. Yeah. I'm intrigued to just see how they kill Wolverine off. Uh, they'll announce it two weeks before the story actually hits shelves anyway. I think it comes out next week. Yeah, so it means it's probably already on the internet. Yeah, but I don't, I don't read all the spoilers. Uh, I mean, that's the, that's the thing. Somebody else is going to read them and spoil it for you, Frankie. Well, it's a good thing we don't work with that son of a bitch anymore. He'll just, he'll just send me an IM. Hey, <laughs> so I hear Doc Ock is Spider-Man now. Asshole. Did you, um... Well, no, you wouldn't have seen. Apparently, he accepted the invitation to the Halloween party. Oh, I did. I, I commented on it. Though. Did you see that? He's no. not going to go. No. So I see, I see he accepts it. It pops up. Francesco Gambino is going to Halloween party. And I comment immediately, like, yo, what the fuck? I've been inviting you to shit for years, and you keep telling me no? And the first thing they invite you to, you go to? And he's like... What did he say back? I don't even know. He's like, yeah, well, you always schedule things on the days I'm, I'm not home. I think you do that on purpose. <laughs> and I said, maybe I do. 
maybe I do. <laughs> he just went, you've made an enemy this day, sweet. <laughs> <laughs> the next time I have a party, if I have like a bunch of people over, you got to invite him to it as well. He won't he show comes. up. He won't show up. <laughs> because um, you, you invite him to it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was just funny. Uh, but also, Lady Thor, or Thor as a woman, uh, how to address her. She will be in uh, the uh, Marvel Puzzle Quest game on Android later this year. Not that that's really that big of a deal because... No one plays that anymore? No, I play it every once in a while. Oh, but really? It's just it's static images, so it's not like it's all that hard for them to just throw a character in there and be like, hey, here's some comic covers that give her powers. So, I don't know. But I guess it's kind of cool that she's going to be in there. Uh, Batman 75th Anniversary Stamps. Who's getting them? Me. Really? I might get some. Yeah. Just, um... I need stamps, My so. <laughs> You have to go to the post office to get them, and even then they might not have them. The, yeah. the sewer... B- yeah, I think it's the sewer bill for Brooklyn. Yeah, has to be paid. Um, no, it's water bill. I'm sorry, water bill for Brooklyn has to be paid by check and mail. Right. So I need stamps anyway. No, yeah, don't do that. Mm-hmm. They're collectibles. Yeah, but how cool? I'll, I'll save one. That's not cool. Well, you save it's usually a book. Of each kind. The way it works with collectible ones is you'll get like a, a, a book. I have I have some Marvel stamps that Aldra got me a couple of years ago, and they do a set of Marvel stamps every year. And every time I go and ask for them, they don't have them, and now they're too expensive for me to want to spend money for them on the internet. <laughs> so I don't. I'm not getting them. Um, but every year they'll do like Marvel stamps, just to like as a collectible thing. Each stamp is a different character. So more than likely with these Batman stamps, each stamp is going to be a different like image of I, Batman for 75 years. I have a stupid stamp question real quick. Yeah. Is there anywhere other than the post office to buy stamps? CBS. Any grocery store. Okay. Because, all right. Just I've, If you go to a grocery store, go to the um, customer service desk. Yep. If okay. you go to like a CVS, Walgreens, any of them, they should sell them too. You just have to ask the uh, cashier. Okay. Because I've never had to buy stamps before in my life. Yep. I needed stamps. I thought just, the only place was the post no, office. You have to buy them in a Or at least them. nowadays, because they used to be more uh, yeah. displayed. They're not displayed anymore. So I went home, and I was, having, now. I was having dinner at my parents, and I was like, I need stamps. Where do I get them? The post office, right? And I was like, oh, don't tell your brother. I'm like, why? Because the post office is closed. <laughs> I'm like... Well, is this a legitimate question? You don't know that story, Cobb? No. All right, we'll tell it in we'll a minute. We'll tell it later. <laughs> it's so good. But I'm like, this is a legitimate question. Like, I know you get them at the post office, but can't you get them elsewhere? She's like, no, just the post office. Don't tell your brother about that, though. I'm like, <laughs> I, all right, I guess. But now I, I find yeah. out you can get them at supermarkets and if, stuff. If you're at ShopRite and you're buying shit, you can ask the cashier for stamps, and they'll have somebody from customer service bring them. Okay. And they'll charge you. It's like 10 bucks for a book. But it'll last you a year and a half, two yeah, years because you, yeah, you only anything. send out like one or two things a yeah. month. So. Well, it's let's see, it's electric bill once a month, and then taxes. Electric bill once a month because taxes, every taxes quarter. and gas, and then, or electric and gas every month, and then it's taxes and CCMUA every quarter. Yeah, so they last well, you a while. C- and CCMUA you can pay online for no extra fee. No, well, it's, it's, 90, it's a dollar. It's, fee. it's like a dollar. So I'm like, but I'd rather pay that extra dollar than drive and get like stamps and envelopes and write a check. Oh, mm-hmm. fire! I I have the envelopes and I have a check. Yeah. And I just yeah. need stamps now. So no, it's just one of those things. I'd, um, if I can pay it online, even if it as long as an, as long as it is a nominal fee, mm-hmm. I'll cover it. If it, because I think it's like PSE and G, it's like a five dollar fee if you try and do that. it on a debit card. You can suck it or a credit card. Too much money. If it's coming right out of your bank account, it's no extra fee. But yeah. it's the the principle. The fact that I don't have, to, I shouldn't have to pay an extra dollar for something I'm not even using. Well, yeah, you're paying extra money for a stamp that you're not using after that. Well, it's only I'm paying extra money for stamps that I can use over ten years. Yeah, when so. stamps were like thirty cents. Yeah, and and envelopes were like ten cents per envelope because of the big not thing. Anymore. <laughs> well, I mean, the envelopes are still like ten cents. Like right now, it's like you're saving forty cents roughly. I know. It's so it's not. I get it's, it. It's, I hate paying online too. It's just the no, principle of it. Fuck you. No, it's not even the. It's pr- really. It's, it, it's, it's only the, utilities that charge you the extra yeah. too. No, it's it, it's because um, electric and gas, PSENG, don't charge online fee. It's just CCMUA, and I refuse to pay oh. any extra money <laughs> towards CCMUA because that thing is such a bullshit system. Can you do bill pay through your bank? I can. I just don't know how to set it up. Just click bill pay. And yeah. you, you have your. This is what I do for my my uh, my car payment and stuff now because mm-hmm. that had to be mailed. Yeah, that's how um, I do my car payment. The mortgage we mail out because I don't want to risk doing uh, that mortgage. Online. I can do online because it's Wells Fargo. I think I can't. I don't. Ours isn't Wells Fargo. It's somebody else. It's been sold seven times. Mm-hmm. So who knows? Uh, but yeah, you just need your like your your 
statement thing and you put in your account number and fill out info and if it matches up if they say is it this thing and it's the same thing hit yes and you can pay it straight through your bank account and the, basically, so, and you basically, no basically they pay the check for yeah, yep. the, the bank sends a check to the yeah the place in your name yep. yeah and, Until, and you don't have to pay extra to pay online and yeah. like who's, who do you bank with pnc, PNC. yeah so, so do you have it. virtual wallet thing yeah. yeah so when you go in there you just like he said click on p- pay bills or bill pay whatever how they have it named yeah it's and you can top. set up multiple like things like if you have to pay your your mortgage your yeah. water and sewer ccmua like all that stuff oh mm-hmm. i also have you, scoopy do as well you you set <laughs> all that stuff up in there and then you can just go in and pay it all at one time yep yeah and you can even just, it too if yeah you want, but. yeah i that's the thing i tried setting up scoopy do mm-hmm. and the uh scoopy do is poop picking yeah. up service yeah wait somebody comes out and does that for you comes picks up dog poop for me it's $35 a month. What a bum. 30. It's got a lot of dog poop, though. <laughs> it, I got two dogs, and I don't know, like, the... I got a citation for the grass the other day. I have to cut my grass within 10 days. Nice. go to court. So, <laughs> yeah, somebody called it in. And my neighbor's two lawnmowers are both broken, So and I don't have a lawnmower. So, that sucks. Better yeah. cut those scissors. I have yeah. to go my lawn. I'm going to do it tomorrow. Well, no, he did it, like, uh, like two weeks ago. And he used he because he mows my lawn for me because I let him use the yard for yeah. his daughter, and he he used his um his weed whacker for the entire yard. You can do that. It's not awesome. It's too. No. It said he said it took him two hours. Yeah, it's gonna take a that long time. that small amount of yard, which is really all I have to mow, sh- takes five minutes. Wait, it was two weeks, and you got a citation. Somebody called it in. It was it well, like, like, in can go f themselves. Oh, apparently, somebody my- somebody apparently according to my neighbor behind the house. Which is technically there's a there's just a line of grass that grows pretty long yeah. that somebody will call in and that line of grass is because the uh, workers for the complex behind my house they just put all their shit behind our house mm-hmm. and it 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 composts and grows there yeah it's like well it's not our that's behind our fences that's technically yeah. the the complex's stuff no so we everyone on the block will get a citation. And we have to cut it within what 10 days. What a bunch days. of dicks. That's dumb. Yeah, people on this block are assholes. Anyway. No, my, I, I I got really close to calling the cops on my neighbor for not taking care of the yard. Yeah. Just because it's... She 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 mowed once this whole summer. Yeah. I'm sorry, twice. She, she mowed... The, like, the week that we moved in, she had somebody come mow. And then, like, w- three weeks ago, she had somebody come mow. Yeah. So the whole summer, her yard was to the point where, like, if you stood in her yard, it was up to your waist. That's awesome. All right, well, that's obnoxious, but, but you see my yard. My yard's... But it's even worse because she has just weeds and vines growing on the fences that are growing into the alley and then into our yard. That's kind of cool. So that's why it was to the point where I'm just like, if she doesn't get this shit cut down soon, I'm calling somebody. Because she actually even mentioned to me that she's pretty sure the old lady that used to have our house used to call the cops on her, and I can see why. Yeah. <laughs> She even said herself the one time her, her lawn got so long that when she went out there to try and cut it down, she found a snake and she refused to go out there for the rest of the summer. <laughs> That's <laughs> like, awesome. Well, yeah. Cut your grass once every three fucking weeks and it won't be that bad. I haven't mowed in a month and a half. Yeah, see, your, and your yard isn't that your bad. Your grass is very mm-hmm. thick, but it doesn't grow high. It's going to suck to mow it tomorrow. Oh, it's yeah. It's going to take me way too long, but yeah, I'm going to have to set my mower up pretty high. But it's if I do it tomorrow, I'll be good for ever i want yeah. to do it till next yeah summer. like we have to mow one more time probably yeah. sometime during the week or next weekend uh all right well not next weekend fuck that last last news item then we can talk about gotham and shield or maybe uh windows 10 guys windows 10 is that coming. All? it's coming did they skip nine yes <laughs> yes uh their reasoning is because this is the last major release air quotes of windows um so this is more or less their os x of Windows, it's going to be this, and then yearly That's minor That's awesome because it's ten. I know, ah! I know. But they're they're purposefully not going Windows X. It's Windows Ten. Um, did you see it? No, because I didn't. I didn't even know it was happening until I read that. Uh, it looks neat. It's uh, it looks like a, a cross between seven and eight. Okay. Did um, they get rid of the fucking tiles? The tiles exist, but only when you click Start. And when you click Start, it's a classic Start menu like seven. But it's your start shit on the left, and then the right is tiles. Okay. And I think you can hit a button to bring up the whole Metro display, the tile display, if you want. But otherwise, it's just standard desktop, like Windows 7. I don't mind the Metro display. I don't either. But so many people have a problem with it that it's just annoying for yeah. work purposes, because whenever somebody gets a computer and it has Windows 8, they throw a little fit. I know. And I'm like, and I've been telling everybody in my office, and anybody that calls in, I got Windows 8, what do I do? This is ridiculous. I'm like, just push the Windows key on your keyboard and type 
what you want. What do you want to open? Firefox. Windows, F, I, R. Look, Firefox is there. Just hit enter. You don't have to type the whole thing. Just a little bit and hit enter. Firefox comes up. And then pin it to your taskbar. It's really easy, but uh, people, they, I, they get grumpy. But so yeah, it's and the weirdest thing is when you first get it. If if the first browser you open is Explorer, yeah. then you get that full screen Metro, the Metro version display, of yeah. Explorer, and um, that does yeah. make things messy until you get a new browser that yeah. Because as soon as you install Chrome or Firefox, it defaults to desktop view, and you yeah you have to uninstall them. I think to put it back into Metro view. Yes, which is really annoying. So Windows eight now you're going to be able to snap four things at once, all corners. So this I don't way you snap anything. I don't either, but I mean, it's I can understand its use if you have a nice big screen. And it actually you have a lot annoys of stuff. me because of um, if I have to remote into multiple servers, yeah, I window it mm-hmm. and try and put them in the corners, and, and it tries end up to snapping snap the whole and going thing. full screen and again. I'm just like, yep. <sighs> so Let's try this again. You don't have to worry about that with Windows 10 because it'll snap to the corner, so you'll have four corners worth of shit, which would be nice. Um, you can have multiple desktops displays, sort of like your home screens on Android. Um, so you can set up like this one over here is all your work shit. You click this one and it's your uh, school shit. This one's your video editing shit. So this way you have multiple desktops of things, but it's just one screen and everything. Um, I joked at work that it's one for work and one for when the boss is walking by. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> That's pretty much the truth. My boss was like, nice. <laughs> That's why I'm glad I don't work with a boss. Yeah. My boss is cool. He, don't, he doesn't care. I get an, every, <clears throat> every client I go to, I have like an office to sit in. Yeah. And I make sure that my back's not facing the door. So Always so easy. Um, yeah. yeah. When I was in the server room the other day, waiting for Verizon and shit to come try and fix their problem. Yeah. I was just on Facebook stand, like with my laptop on top of the, the server rack. And people kept coming in. So I kept like tabbing away from it real quick. Mm-hmm. That's too much. I sit in a corner, so I'm good. Oh, that's I true. I don't have to worry about anything. Um, and I have four screens. So I have, like, shit to not do work on this one and work on the others. I've got one small laptop for work, oh, which is perfect for traveling because yeah. it's small. Yeah. Um, Does it not break your back like Vogel's giant he's getting a new one. laptop that he has to get a new one with now? Yeah, no, it's it's smaller than this. Nice. Wow. Um, I think it's well, on Windows. Under that with Windows 10, it's really pretty much the same. Uh, but it's going to be unified, they're saying. So it's it's a lot of Windows 10 is scalable for other devices, such as tablets, phones, and shit like that. So it's going to be kind of nice. This is going to make things a little bit easier for them and keep it all looking the same. So that's it. Cool. Uh, you guys want to talk Gotham and Shield real quick? Nah, fuck those shows. Um, well, I mean, nothing really happened. At, well, stuff happened in all, but... I mean, dude, I thought Shield was really Shield good. Shield was good. Shield was great. Uh, so it, it took me till watching it yesterday... Uh, uh, was it Carl Creel, the Absorbing Man? Yeah, yeah. played by Penny's ex-boyfriend. Yes. Oh shit! Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. I, I thought it the first time I saw him in the first episode. I was like, "Is that Penny's ex-boyfriend?" And it took me a minute, and I was like, "No, it can't be." Because he's, he's definitely gotten older. It's been eight years since we've seen him on that show, yeah. on Big Bang Theory. And then, so I was like, last night I'm watching, I'm like, "Fuck it," and I pull up IMDb, I'm like, "Holy shit, that's him!" So that's kind of cool. Um, he's awesome. He was very well done. Yes. I hope he's yeah, not. Even, even the special effects were surprisingly good. Yes. I hope he's not gone forever. He, he's not. Because he, Coulson said at the end of the episode he's, that he's still alive. No, he's, he's not sure. Well, he said he, he's, turned to, he's turned to stone before, so who knows. And they, yeah. they pre, he, Coulson said that they had him in like stasis yeah. for the next 59 minutes and that Talbot should get him someplace quick. Yeah. yeah. So he's captured. He might still be alive. But it's it's like all the other people that touched the thing though they turned to stone. Yeah, that's what. But he remember he he fixed his. Yeah, he did. But that's what took him over at the end. No, no, Colson stabbed him with right. But that's his, his skin turned into the rocky ash flesh that everybody else got when oh. they held over that thing. Yeah, because yeah. it was taking over him, and then he controlled it for a minute, and then Colson stabbed him, and that took over again. True. So, no, I, I'm sorry, that was pretty badass when the bullet gets fired and yes. You just see the slow mo as he fucking turns to yeah. steel. That was yeah. that was really cool. I kind of like the um the, the the British dude Hunter. Yes, Hunter. Yeah, yeah. He, he's like he, he's kind of like Ward was last season, but not against them. Yes. Yeah. I, I like uh what, shit is Mac his name? Uh, 
the, the, the new the, mechanic guy? Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. think yeah. it's Mac. I, I like Especially how he, like, buttered up to Fitz and, like, made Fitz figure these things out. No, but he, he didn't. He was he, he was actually really short with him. Yeah. Like, he was but not having that at all. But then, like, when he realizes, like, Fitz actually knew something, he's like, wait, what? Okay, wait, come on. Yeah. Let's figure this out. Yeah. It's good, because it was... It means that Fitz is actually... Fitz is Fitz. He's just not Fitz. Yeah. In a way. Yeah. Like, he's there. He's just not he, there. Yeah. I mean, whenever you see him talking with fake Simmons, yeah, it, he's himself still. Yeah, yeah. It's when he's talking to other people you kind of see that everything's wrong, right? Yeah, because I think he sees Simmons with him, but they don't, and so she's finishing all his sentences. He can't finish it because she already does. Yeah, right? but uh, I I can't wait for this upcoming episode because the scenes with the three of them though. They yeah. were really well done because <clears throat> the the one guy couldn't see her at all. No. Yeah. And just like the the interaction between the three of them was just perfect. Yeah. How she's like, who are you talking like to? Him. Who are you talking to? Me. No one. <laughs> <laughs> so she's good. like, ooh, I like him. <laughs> she's all like all fawning about him because uh, yeah. triplet. <laughs> yeah, no, but, I, I I definitely when uh, that guy and Fitz started getting along, it it made me happy because yeah. I don't I don't want to see him on this like downward track to being like suck the rest of the season. So giving him somebody to kind of connect with is really cool, um, and I, I like they worked that out. Well, I watch I I always watch whatever the DVR scenes could DVR, and I don't watch those. Next don't week, spoil why don't you just set your DVR to record like a minute longer because it's already set to record all right well don't talk about it or well, it's you. just next week's episode i can't wait it, no more they let you know stuff i liked uh sky's dad yeah yeah okay i like that he made Raina pick the thing up i know i He's was like, like oh shit it's gonna happen fucking pick it up uh-huh Which, so that that lends creed that could be anything but Infinity it just Stone. means well i i definitely think it's the soul gem or soul stone, whatever. Uh, yeah. Because as he said, it let you live. The soul gem is the only of the gems that is sentient. It has a will. Yeah, that's yeah. true. So that that definitely. And that's kind of cool if, if if it is the soul gem and they're actually using the show to yeah. explore that. Yeah, it's it's definitely cool. Um, I did like uh, so if it let her li- let it let her live. Why did it let her live? More reason to believe that her and Coulson and Sky and maybe most likely Sky's dad have some sort of connection to more than likely the Cree being the blue man in the box in the first episode and the blue man in the tube in last season. All of it could have something to do with one another. Some random guy invite you to be a friend. Little J Dog ninety eight. Accept it. Be a friend. To, no, he wants to play, not be uh, my friend. He needs somebody to help him with a mission. Yeah, so that's what I do when I'm in the tower. I invite random people to help me and Vogel do shit. Yeah, I'm I'm not even playing right now. I so. know. Uh, so that was kind of cool. I'm really excited to see more of that shit. Um, I like Talbot. He's so yeah, grumpy Talbot's and angry. He's he's great. Yeah, he, they did great <laughs> casting him. He, yeah, he works out really well. He was awesome in Heroes. So I'm really glad he's good in this too. And Gotham. I, I'm real quick back on the show. I'm Fine. so upset that Lucy Lawless is dead. I'm not. I don't think she's dead. They buried her. I don't think she's, she's dead. dead. You think Coulson, Coulson didn't bury the body? He's doing the same thing to her? No, I think Tabbitt's doing something. Uh, maybe. I don't, I don't I, think she's dead. Uh, we didn't see her body. Well, you, you did you see her, her dead, dead in the, the thing, but I, I see what you mean. You don't see her <clears throat> getting Marvel. buried or anything. It's Marvel. Uh, all right. Well, no, because it wasn't Talbot that set up her body, her her, her funeral. It, it was, was. No, it was that Coulson. That was Coulson. At the end, Col- when, when he's talking to Hunter at the funeral thing... He go. Colson literally says, "Yeah, I can still pull a few strings." Sorry, I couldn't do anything about that twelve million though. Oh, uh, yeah. two million, but yeah, yeah, two million. Oh, maybe. But anyway, all right. I, I, you know, yeah. Gotham. Gotham, Jinx. I liked it. I like it. It, it, it. It's good. Penguin's my favorite. Penguin is awesome. He is great. He, okay, so you good. you don't you didn't watch it. Do you do you recognize Penguin? <sighs> no. He was in The Walking Dead. Was he? Do you remember the episode with um Rick Carl and no? no yeah, Rick, Carl, and Carol, I believe, in the the little town where Rick and Carl end up later on. Um, when right after the two people get burned in the prison, they're out looking you mean for supplies. When, when, when Rick kicks Carol out of the group. Yeah, okay, I didn't want to say that. Yeah. I didn't know if you saw. Oh, it. Is that him? Oh, it's him? Those, those it's are the two the, hippies they the run two, into. Oh, the right. girl and that. That's Penguin. Oh, that's funny. I, I didn't even. See I realized that. that last night because I'm I'm watching. I'm just like he looks so familiar. That's funny. So I looked up his thing and I saw that he was in Walking Dead. I'm just like, who the fuck was he in Walking Dead? Yeah. That's funny. I liked those two. I was really yeah. upset that they died ten minutes later. <laughs> um, they were they were really cool. That's funny. 
Uh, yeah, and beyond that, I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm at the Governor episodes when it, they focus on him, but Audra hasn't wanted to watch it, so we'll see. Yeah. Um, I, I, like I said before, I could, I could do without the Bruce stuff so far. None of it's really compelling to me. I think some of it's neat. Mostly, mostly his interactions with Gordon. Yeah, I just don't. I mean, I'd rat when the when this show was sold to me. It was sold to me as Commissioner Gordon when he's young in Gotham doing shit. I understand he's going to have that connection with Bruce because he was there and everything, and you know. So it's it's nice that they're going to have something like. But I don't need to see that every episode. Exactly. I don't need to see the two of them interact all the time. And I feel like like after a little bit, they might cut back on it some. Yeah, but at the same time. It, it at least breaks the episode up so it's not as like procedural. Yeah. Like it it's you know, he has scenes with his fiance, he has scenes with Bruce, he has scenes with like other cops. Yeah. I like when he calls the, the fucking street cop a bad cop. Yeah. <laughs> no, they just He's like, You're just fight. a bad cop. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The guy's like, Well the restaurant pays me fifty bucks a week to keep an eye on him. Yeah. That's yeah. Gotham's a fucked up place. Yeah. I, I like that they're getting into all that, like Yeah, because the police force is corrupt in Gotham. Yeah. Yep. Gordon's supposed to be the one that kind of turns it around. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, uh, I definitely I hope Bullock it. eventually kind of becomes more like the Bullock in the comics where yeah. he's really, like, in the comics, he's not that guy anymore. Yeah. He always straddled the line in the, even the cartoons and yeah, stuff. Yeah, I mean, he like, straddled the line, cool. but he's also, like, he, he's behind Gordon, like, with the stuff that it's, Gordon wants to do. Yeah, yeah we, uh, me, Anthony, and Paul talked about it. It's like, Bullock hasn't, he was never a corrupt cop. He was just a... A lazy cop he didn't it's not that he didn't want to do the work it's he didn't want to get like he didn't want to die yeah so he did whatever he could to not die it's pretty much what all of gotham cops are doing yeah so yeah oh uh, yeah so, so like they're not i mean yeah they're corrupt because they're working with the mob but bullock he's probably the least corrupt minus with the exception of jim gordon because he's just doing this just because he's like i just don't want to die yeah that's all so well, i'm sure a lot of them are like that though but uh Dollmaker? Dude, when I heard that, I had no clue who the hell Dollmaker was. I had to look him up. He's dude, the guy... Those two the... people were creepy, too. Oh, my yeah. God, dude. I love them. That one, that guy was in Psych. He was uh, schizo. The the lady... Did you watch the show Almost Human at all with uh, yeah. Carl Urban last year? She was the police captain. Okay. She did look familiar. I saw, like, one or two episodes. She looked familiar. Uh, yeah, those two are cool. Who is the Dollmaker? Isn't he, he the dolls. guy that makes the, has the Scarface doll? Or is that somebody different? No, no. That's the ventriloquist. Okay. I don't um, know Dollmaker then, but still, that's cool. Yeah, the the Dollmaker literally makes like dolls out of people's faces and stuff. If I remember correctly, seen the cartoon. I think he actually is the one in New Fifty Two that cut off Joker's face for him. I don't know, um, but it was just like cool to allude to Batman style villains, which is fun. Yeah. Other than the three that we know of, Riddler's extra creepy <laughs> in this episode. He was funny as hell. Yeah. <laughs> he's just like poking his head through Fish Mooney good. seems fun yeah like interesting yeah she's she's really cool I, I definitely like uh, what they're doing with uh, what's her face too uh, Selena yeah like that 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 little girl just plays the role she's, well yeah, yeah. She's, I love when she's talking to the cop she's like I want to see Jim Gordon get Jim Gordon I'm going to say say you touched me I'll, I'll tell him he touched you touched me you got three seconds <laughs> I'll start screaming like, yeah. Even when she when she's talking to the lady before she knows that she's not a cop. Yeah. Or the, no, it was the actual cop, and she calls her a pig and gets on the bus. <laughs> yeah, that was definitely cool. Um, yeah, I, I'm excited to see more. Um, hopefully, they they cut out on some of the heavy handedness of it. You know, with like uh, I'm sure you guys saw the one. I think it was a Penny Arcade commercial or, or comic. Uh, I believe last week, um, where it just shows like Gordon and um, Harvey and Riddler. And Harvey's just like, stop talking in your riddles. It's always with the riddles with you. Riddles, riddles, riddles. And the next panel, he's like, so many riddles from this guy. Just tell me what it is. No more riddles. And the last panel, he's the Riddler. <laughs> and I'm like, it was really that, heavy that was last a, week. That was that was a good, um, yeah, a good penny arcade. Yeah, they, it was really heavy last week, and this week it was a, a little bit lighter, which was nice. Like, at a, well, because I think they were just trying to like it's the intros. So yeah, I get they're it. like, look, there's this guy and yeah. this guy and that guy, and right. maybe that yeah. guy's this other guy. And I get it, you know, and it's 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 getting lighter, which is nice. The penguin references that piss him off make me laugh, so those are fine. Oh, yeah. um, Did anyone ever tell you you walk like a penguin? When you walk, you look like a penguin. No, nobody okay. ever told me that. <laughs> so I, I, good. I didn't. I didn't. At, at the point that she showed up, I didn't feel like looking up stuff anymore. Yeah. Um, penguin's mom. Yeah. What was she in? No idea. Because she was so goddamn familiar looking. Yeah. 
I'll have to look know. it up later. I don't know. We'll find out later. I just, I, it was one of those things where she looked really familiar, but I didn't care enough to actually like spend time looking it up. Yeah. All right. Well, that's that, right? Yep. Do we have any mail? No. Any comments or anything? Let me no. see. I, I did post. No, I didn't. haven't gotten any updates. Got so anything, no, so. I got nothing. All right. Well, so guess what we're going to do then? What's that? We're going to end in a walnut story. A walnut? Oh, come on. <laughs> Oh man, that's what, that we should end every episode this way. That can no. be that can be our um enjoy your burrito. Right? Walnut stories. Walnut stories. No. Oh come on. I have discussion topics we it's can end the, with. No. no. Just a quick story. It's just the post office one. No. But it's so dumb. Alright, I'll post it on the website. No. <laughs> I mean, less people probably will see it there than on listen to it here. So how about the true. stamp story? What the stamp story? Well, that's what he. The oh, is, is this a story about the post you? office one? Oh, see, I thought it was a story yeah. about you. No, it was a walnut story yeah, about the post office. <sighs> one time, if you don't want to say it on the podcast, you don't no, have to. One time we. That's a good one. one time I needed to go mail something out, and I've never taken notice as to where the mailboxes were near this post office in Collingswood. Never seen them. Never looked at them. The ones I like figured, right on the corner from you. Yeah. Yeah, okay. which, which the mailboxes are right next door. Yeah, no, no, that's years, years ago. This is years yeah. ago. I was, I, was, I mean, we I've, were still in high school. Yeah, I've never walked up and down had an app. Never taken notice where these mailboxes were. I figured they were inside. I, I didn't care. I, I gave so, him something to mail for me. So too. I go because I have to mail something. He has to mail something. I go go to open the door and the post office is closed. And I go back and they're like, "So you, I'm what? playing games." They're like, "Why do you still have it?" In. I'm like, well, the post office is closed. I couldn't mail it. The post office is closed. And my mom's outside watering the plants. She goes, oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> like, teenage she's like, stupidity. She's like, Rich, you put it in the mailbox. We didn't know. The post office is closed. No, no. I, I didn't see the mailboxes. It was, it was. You have a post office. You should put the mailbox right in front of the post office. It is. It was. No, it's off to the side. It was off to. Like I if get it. Come, oh wait, that's right. Because yeah, the yeah. of post office. It's, it's on. Head it's and on Haddon Ave, and then the. I'm sorry. Yeah. So if you're coming from my house, you don't see the mailboxes. You know what? Because wh- whenever I came past that, I always came up that street. Yeah. So I pass those mailboxes all the time. Yep. Yeah. I've never. Did like, think to look around the building? I was. I don't. I don't even think I want. Look, we you actually used to have a mailbox on the corner of our street when we first moved in. I don't remember that. I thought there was one still there. I was just going to drop it in there, which there wasn't. So I walked over to the ma- post office. At that point, I'm just like, this is bullshit. <laughs> post office is closed. <laughs> Where's the goddamn mailbox? So you understand, Rich. It's just funny. That's all the only reason why I wanted yeah. to say it. It's a funny story. Yeah. All right? The post office was closed. Maybe we can end with that one from now on. No. <laughs> post office is closed. Oh, everybody, the post office is closed. No. <laughs> Sign out now. I got I to think of more uh, news music if you guys didn't like it. comes to the news. <laughs> and it's more news music and, and more walnut stories. No, that's all the walnut stories. There's lots stories. of walnut, There's stories. So many walnut no stories. No more walnut stories. All right. You, can I, I'm not going to tell it. My two favorites ever are the ribs and the, the car in Florida. <laughs> yeah. All right. The ribs? No, 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 no. Not the, tell them now. I'm just saying, the ribs, if you get berated as much as I did that day, I, yeah. anything no, will set you off. I, and I get it. Literally, I'm not trying to make fun of you with them, but those are know. probably my two They're favorite stories. stories I've ever and heard about like you like having like, a freak out. And the car, it was, I was I was like, because it was a rental car. It was still funny. It's like I was freaking out because I, I, did, I thought the car broke. So my instant reaction was, holy and shit, I, this car is broken. I'm sure that your brother probably exaggerates parts of it. No. No, no. <laughs> I shouldn't give you the benefit of the doubt, man. No. <laughs> no. Seriously, if I I could not make anything up with that. Look, Rich, I know you probably don't like it. We'll have to discuss this, but we're gonna have to get some walnut stories in here sometimes. No, maybe, maybe we'll just do it on weeks while you're not here. Then you it's can just, you, you can listen to it later. On. It's just entertaining. Is I'd, it I'd is. rather you tell them when I'm here so I can defend my point. All right, as well. But understand, I'm not okay. doing. I, the look, honestly, I will tell them. That's fine. I will tell them. Right. Anytime we need, like, because what are we at time-wise? <laughs> we're, oh, I mean, we're at plenty of time. We don't yeah, have yeah. to have any particular amount of time. Because yeah. well, like, if we just need, like, well, quick filler or whatever, I will the tell them. Here's the deal. Next weekend, Cobb and I are going to be here. Yes. It's going to be me and Drew. Right. You want to leave this stuff with them? Huh? Well, you don't have a laptop. 
I have a laptop. Oh, you I have just, a laptop? I, I need to make sure it works. It runs Vista, though, so... It should be fine. If not, let I, me know. You can borrow I mine. Borrow I can borrow It's just you and Druton? Yeah. Oh, unless I get somebody else. Get Drew to bring... To just bring his snowball mic? Yeah, do that. Yeah. That... I don't know if you ever listened to the wrestling one him and Sean do. No. It's good. It's way easier than all of this <clears throat> for just two of you. Yeah. yeah. And you can set up... I mean, the, I'm, the I'll, 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 I might ask somebody else, too, and yeah, we can just set it up right around that round table or even just I right mean, here. It, I mean, it, if you don't mind going out and it is it does just end up being the two of you, just go over to Drew's yeah, if, yeah. if he's free, because I know they record in, at his computer. Yeah. Mm. And he knows exactly how to get the recording and all done. Yeah, and that's probably a good idea. Just do that. Yeah. This we'll way, he can get me the recording. I can edit it real quick because yeah. with two people the, the file ends up being smaller and all the stuff I have to yeah. run on it goes so much fucking quicker even yeah. if you go long yeah like a yeah. two hour show will still be a lot quicker to do with just two people it's true. yeah well you guys do the news so just make sure like you write down the new stuff I'll try to I don't know where um, I don't know what you guys look at and where you guys go wherever. and IGN I guess spot, whatever wherever. I'll just update throughout the week if we can maybe mm-hmm. um, you guys can do like the news and everything like like the normal podcast yeah, and if Eric and I have time, maybe Saturday or Sunday night. Yeah, when we get back, or no, because you're staying up there Saturday, so maybe, yeah, maybe Sunday, Sunday night. Maybe Sunday when we get back, um, we'll set up and do like a quick like half hour, forty five minutes, yeah. and just talk about yeah. New York. Yeah, maybe. and then I'll just cut them together. Yeah. This way, Word. we're getting that out right away, so that we can send that to New York, New York, so that they're like, okay, we actually did shit. These yeah. guys and cool. get passes again next year. Exactly. Yeah. So um, maybe more passes. So this for the most I part, go. next week will be you too. If you want to do some yeah. Richie and Druton stories, go for it. Well, we'll, we'll <laughs> me and Druton we'll, me and Jordan will figure it out. But we'll, yeah. so we can. We'll, I'll, we'll I'll still send out. out the emails for yeah. just everyone it, as well. So here's what I yeah, can fine. join if they want. Here's what I normally do, like as we're recording, just uh-huh. in case you do it here. Yeah. Um, I open up a, a notepad. Yeah. And, and as it's recording, you know. When we start doing like the actual intro, because I always start recording before that, yeah, I just type in whatever uh, right around the timestamp. I usually go like five minutes before it. Yeah, this way I know kind of where to start the cut at. If the dogs start barking, or like at one point we just started, like you were telling him where to go for something in Destiny. Yeah, I typed that in real quick just because it broke up the middle of a conversation. Yeah, just so I know where to jump to to cut things out as I'm going. Word, cool. Yeah, it's usually the dogs and the and the opening. <laughs> yeah, yeah, damn dogs. Well, that's it. That's it. We're good? I think so. We had a walnut story. We had a lot of news. We both, or all three of us, really like Shield and of Gotham. Everything's actually properly connected. So. Did you watch Once Upon a Time? Oh, shit. What? I forgot to plug it in again. No, you're standing on it. Okay, you're right. He's just being an a-hole. Yeah. Did you watch Once Upon a Time? I did. It's pretty cool. No. Um. Too much. Did you see Frozen? Yes. Okay. I liked Frozen. Frozen yeah. was, was an alright movie. Um, It was too much Frozen <laughs> for me. It was a lot of Frozen. That was the problem. It was pretty much all Frozen and a quick little, like, here, these characters still exist. They're not yeah. dead. Yeah. Like, you, 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 you saw <laughs> Snow and Prince Charming for... 12 seconds, yeah. maybe. They yeah. literally walked out and go, well, nobody got blown up yet. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Uh, yeah. It, it's it's definitely a lot. You I got, like... They pulled in way too many Frozen elements yeah, right off the All bat. the flashbacks were just Frozen. It didn't tie back into anyone mm-hmm. yet. And I don't will. know. It was just one of those, like... It will. It's just going to be yeah. a bit. I get it. It's. It depends on like their their Frozen's premise. Is it going to? Because it's more than likely just going to be the first half of the season, like they usually do, and then close off on something entirely new. So they're probably just trying to bang yeah. out everything they can and capitalize on Frozen fever before the holidays. Yeah. So I mean, I get it, but to have the giant Frozen golem. Within that first episode, I was like, Jesus Christ, already? Like, there was no. <laughs> well, nuts. that, and they had the little fucking troll things. Yeah, the troll things, the reindeer, Sven. You know, at, at least the, the was special there. effects didn't seem so bad. No. Even the troll the, was really even, well done. And the ice, um, when she froze yeah. the car. Yeah. I, I love Grumpy, though. Yeah. Like, he he had, like, two scenes, and they were they were great. He's always good, so. Oh, yeah, I liked talk, it. Talking about so Frozen, good. did you guys see Let Me Poop? No. It's uh, a video little girl recorded, and instead of let it go, it's let me poop. That's gross. It's one of the funniest things I've ever watched. Watch it or check it out. Maybe I'll watch it later. All right. All right. On that note, we're done. That's it. Make sure. What? Okay, you're going. I'm not done yet. Well, I'm you just saying. said we're done. I'm saying we're done. It's, 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 that doesn't mean God, turn it off. This is Damn. my signif... I'm this stopping. Is, this is for me to no. signify Richie to stop talking, but he usually oh. talks anyway. I always talk. I know. 
because I don't get to talk the rest of the time. Well, you, you were do. playing Destiny the whole time. Yeah, no. Half the time, only doing um, the news. <laughs> so that's it. Remember, you can check us out at www.one-quest.com. We're on Facebook at One Quest Online. Facebook slash One Quest Online, whatever. Uh, Twitter at One underscore Quest. You can send us emails at social at one-quest.com. But nobody does, but you should anyway, because it's a lot of fun, because we can read them on the internet, talk about them, send us topics. What was that email address about. again? Social at one-quest.com. And guys, remember, Damn it. there's more Fallen. Huh? And Hive on the way. Goodbye. iTunes. Oh, uh, we're on iTunes, too. Yeah. That's fine. Five Sign star off. and shit. Sign off. Bye. Bye.